We are back with another episode of Daddy Issues. Bam, 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 bam. Yes, we talking about uh, R and B groups. Right Chaz now. is back. Chaz, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. DC oh, yeah. gone, of course. Thanks, thanks yeah. for saying that, Chaz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's we didn't back. notice. Yo, so, so. Birdcage Rogers. So, I checked out. Uh, this is the biggest complaint I get about being here right now is there's no birdcage for me, which is hilarious. <laughs> uh, but watching last week's episode with your pops on there, mm-hmm. that might be probably the biggest hit that I've, since I've been, I think since we've been a part that it's had as an episode. Mm-hmm. Like, it was so beloved. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they loved have it. have Keon's pop they song. They loved it. And your dad was spitting so much just oh, dope yeah. shit just yeah. to have. He's old. <laughs> He's old. <laughs> the old people be having that. Like, I don't understand. I, I, I get it when we were younger. Like, we were like, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, mm-hmm. But now as an adult, I'll be listening to old people. Yeah. Grown people, yeah, I'll be yeah, like, yeah. they got stuff. I want, And I wanted to know more about, like, you know, his upbringing outside of the kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just like, you know, forget your kids. What right. was life like for right. you Well, yeah, we definitely got to have him back. Yeah, for sure. Well, yeah. I mean, that story he told about the dice, I'd never heard before. Yeah. yeah. And that, and that was, man, that's hard hitting. I was like, shit. Right. To see that firsthand. Yeah. Well, he's been opening up more anyway, just mm-hmm. as he gets older. And yeah. you know he's got you know the therapy and all that, so he's getting stuff out. Mm-hmm. So he's he's even expressed stuff to us, me and my brothers, that we were like, oh, that's why you do that. Yeah, yeah. Or that's where that comes from. Because mm-hmm. we were telling him for the longest time, like he felt like he shouldn't tell people stuff, and we were like, well, no, because then it helps people understand you exactly. And we we know why this, where this comes from, and what why you reacted this way to that, and whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. Also, as a parent, a lot of times you're like. Uh, the kids ain't ready to hear this. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not tell the kids. Right. And it's not that they necessarily want to keep it from you, but it's like, uh, maybe oh, yeah. when he's older. Right. right. And, and then, then you so forget. for yeah. years, you're just like, <laughs> why did you do that? And then it's like, oh, you did this because A, B, and C. Mm. And then it helps for for the child. You're just like, oh, well, that makes sense. Especially yeah. being a man now. Like a lot of stuff and being a man with children and being a lot of the stuff he did or said or whatever, I'm like, I get it. Yeah. I completely, I might not have gotten it at 18, mm-hmm. but now with a family, I'm like, oh, yeah, that makes that makes sense. Bro. Do you get uh, the, the baseball thing with the C? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I actually, I knew what he was trying to do. Yeah. Especially with. I get where he was he coming said, from yeah. with that, but yeah. man. Now, machine. the Washington thing that I told y'all about in the group chat, I was like, he sprung yeah. that on me after we left. And I was like, what are you like, doing? Let me tell you something. I ruined your sports. <laughs> man. Career. So, you guys obviously don't know. So, we're, we're at the kitchen table just talking. And he's talking about, oh, that, I had fun on the podcast. He was watching it back. And he was like, oh, this is cool, like, blah, blah, blah. He's like, man, that the baseball thing and the Washington thing. And I was like, Washington thing? What are you, what are you talking about? He was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Because when I was a senior, uh, I wasn't recruited like that. So we were doing the whole making my own tapes, sending them out, whatever. Washington, University of Washington, Pac-12, got back, Pac-10 at the time, got back to us. And he's like, we like them, but we don't have enough tape on them. We, we haven't seen him, so we want him to go to a JC up here so that we can watch him up close and get film and just see him more in game action. And my dad was like, ah, he's only 17. I'm not really trying to send him up. He's like, well, who's going to watch him? And I'm like, watch? It's called college. Nigga. Nobody's <laughs> watching me. I just go. And But I never knew about any of this. So he said, yeah, they wanted you to go up there uh, for a year. And then, but I was just like, ah, nah. I was, but what, the, what killed me, I was like, dad, I moved out. Uh, when I was 18, I left home locally. So I was leaving regardless, and I could have been up there and going to a packed in school. Like, yeah. what are you? And he was like, yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my bad. He was like, but now the Boise State thing, that was my fault. I, you know, <clears throat> whatever. But they didn't tell us about grades. But uh, the Washington, I, ne- I just found this out last week. Well, Boise State wasn't even popular then. I don't no, know. When, I, when they were recruiting me, they had just made the tournament two years in a row. So we had Wait, watched. Are you them. talking about basketball? Yeah, I remember. I only know they got big from football because at the yeah, they're huge in football. But now at that time, it was a long time they were in basketball. They weren't a powerhouse, but those <coughs> two years they made March Madness, and that was always oh, my dream. Okay. I just want to play in March of Madness course. one so time. That was the year that UW had the big turnaround too. That's right when they had Napoleon <laughs> Kaufman there, they had uh, Lawyer Malloy. So and Mark Sanford. Was if on the I would have went team. there, be I would have been on the team players, with Brandon Roy and Nate Robinson. Well, no, well, so I wouldn't have played. We shot six man. But we Your shot game. six men in Washington where we hung out with a lot of the players that uh, were there. And yeah. that wow. was the year that yeah. you probably would have been. Coming. Well, I would have been there with Roy. I like uh, Six Men, by the way. It's on I the remember rain. that movie. Yeah. 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 yeah I saw Brandon it in theaters. Roy. And that's Kadeem. I've been there with. Marlon and Kadeem. I, I saw a lot of Wayne movies I, in theaters. I did the dunks in that movie. I was okay. the dunk double. What oh, made oh, me laugh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What made me laugh about Six Men was you could tell Marlon couldn't hoop. 
That's what made oh, yeah. me laugh. Yeah. It's a three month crash course <laughs> and get out there with college players and uh, damn near pro athletes. I was like, this is such a movie because he does, he is not a hooper. Because he never he never really played in the Bird of Rim, did he? No, he, no, he was go- but he was goofy. Sucked. You know, yeah. what I mean? he sucked. So he I gotta a- watch a Nas and Adult Six Man and see Marlon. Uh, uh, yeah, I haven't seen I this in right theater. Away. Oh, it's yeah. a lot of quick cuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but you can tell when you are an athlete, you can tell who's not. From small, how they throw, how they pass, how, like the smallest things. You're like, you don't play watching sports. the watching that show, the game. I forgot who their quarterback was, but I was like, oh, he doesn't. Bruh, do this. He's, he's a never thrown a ball in his life. You could tell. I was like, oh, he doesn't do this at all, ever. <laughs> Hosea, Hosea, huh? no, Hosea, whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. And, and also the dude, in their defense, sometimes the, the director's receiver? like, no, no, I know that's how you throw it, but I need it to fit inside the camera. So I need you. To yeah, throw it like this. you gotta take that. But into even consideration still, too. you could you can quick pop. Yeah, I, I just they, watched. It, I was like, I was like, he's never thrown. Yeah, a ball. he he. He couldn't have. He couldn't have done that enough to. Because you no. looked at it and you were like, no. Like when I was watching All American, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> I was watching the show All American, and they, whoever they hired for one, of, I was like, he's played before. Right. He can throw a ball. This some most of these actors, you're like, you've never played a sport in your life. Yeah. You don't. David Wayne's played a quarterback in the Last Boy Scout. I don't even yeah, remember. He, he didn't have, have to actually. Uh, they they probably had a great stunt double, <laughs> just like in uh, Celtic Pride. They had. <laughs> oh yeah, he was a ball player. Yeah, in that. Three stunt doubles. Yeah. <laughs> there was a dribbling, a shooting, and a dunking. Yeah, because in, in Last Boy Scout, he only threw the ball actually on screen twice. It was yeah. like when he hit the dude in the face with the ball in the hot tub, mm-hmm. and then the end when he was when on he the saved horse. The, yeah, he was on the horse and he threw the ball. I love that movie, man. And then. Uh, <laughs> this doesn't really count, but Damien as a boxer in uh, oh yeah, great yeah, white, yeah, yeah. white height. But he actually took boxing for years. Yeah, it, it, it was cool though, because I don't remember. A whole, I mean, boxing is tough to because they so many cuts. Anyways, I just love when he had the gut. You trying to burn right. me, boy? Still one. <laughs> <laughs> I seen that in theaters too. Greatest yeah. boxing. I love that boxing movie. Yeah, I just I just be want people to be. Boy. I, I be wanting them to hire people who just look like you can play something. They can't act. They don't. Yeah. <laughs> You always go to the basketball you gotta, you gotta audition, and there's every ex- ex-athlete, and you're like, oh, I got this one. Cause did you ever yeah. watch Ballers? Yeah. yeah. And, and so, the, so the dude who was uh, London Brown's homeboy. Yeah. All right, he he looked was, like a lineman. He's a horrible yeah. actor, though. Yeah. Mm. Dude was super trash. And yeah. I go like, ah, well, you know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> you the gotta, trade-off. You got to pick your battles. That's why they always be like, why don't they hire these cats that can fight in these movies? Because right. the actors be trash. You'd be like, well. So it'd be like, what we going to do? But John David dude. really played football, didn't he? Yeah, he yeah. did. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So, he went to the NFL. He did? Mm-hmm. He got drafted by the Rams, I believe. Oh, yeah, he oh, did. I didn't know that. Because mm-hmm. I just remember in high school, it was him and I think Joe Montana's son was on the same team. Oh, I didn't know that. Because Denzel and Montana would be at the games, and everybody would be like, oh, snap. Look <laughs> who's here. Yeah, I think he drafted as a running back. Um, for the Rams, if I'm okay. correct. Yeah. See, and I could tell. I was like, he's played a sport. Yeah, I could tell. I mean, because I mean, even when he, I didn't know he was Denzel's son until someone told me. And then uh, and then I was like, that makes sense because he sounds like this cat. He so. sounds, that's what it is. It's not his look. But yeah. when he talks, I'd be like, that's his kid. The first time I saw Denzel and him was Tenet. Oh, and I was no, just no, like, no, no, no. There's, there's a I monologue in Ballers. You'll see it. Oh, yeah. I, was, I haven't watched Ballers. Oh, yeah. Because oh, okay. in, in early yeah. Ballers, you'll be like, oh, okay, because he didn't have a lot. Yeah, and then as they started giving him more, you'll see there's a monologue. It's supposed to be he's talking with his dad, mm-hmm. but there's a monologue he's just talking to the camera, and I was like, "Ooh!" And then that's why I was like, "Yo, this." I thought he was just like a Denzel fan. Yeah, because there's sometimes when I see Chadwick when he did Forty Two and some other things, I'll be like, "Oh, I see some Denzelism uh-huh. in there," you know. Yeah. So when I saw I saw that, I was like, "Maybe he studied under there. Maybe this is romance." So I googled him as his son. I was like. If that he wasn't, sounds, oh, that's how you found. That's out? That's how I found out because okay. I was like, "Yo, that's way too on." They don't look alike, so you got to really be like, "You got to know." What right. you do is you, you can hear like the him. cadence, and yeah. you can tell the cadence that he got a day. lot of talking to yeah. uh, right. as a kid. <laughs> right. yep. You see it in the Klansman when he was uh, giving some of his uh, dialogue. It's like, oh, yeah, mm. and yeah. it's his own spin. But you're like, you can't, you can't get rid of this is genetic, right? Right. What you hear growing up and how you talk, right? It's like I understand it now. Like when this actual, like you know. When you see fathers and sons, yeah. like Martin Sheen and Emilio Estevez, yeah. you be like, ah, mm-hmm. I see it. And then there's so much of like, <laughs> like, uh, what was that? Uh, that one where he just did um, with Zendaya. Oh, I haven't seen it. I, I don't recommend you watch the movie. Yeah. Okay. okay. But why is it bad or is it just? 
bad to it's, me. It's very specific. I've only seen people yeah, making boring. fun of it. Yeah. No, I've but, seen people praise it. I saw people praise it, but I, everything I see is just a mac and cheese thing because black people. Oh yeah, you know, well, that, that was dumb. You know, like, I can't wait to, wait to meet uh, Sandy Baker to see if you picked up her mannerisms. If she's like, we in here. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> she want to do the show, but <laughs> yeah. it's hard to get her out here, man. She she I'm gonna come out there. She don't want to come. She does. Has she, she been out here at they, all? My family are not travelers, man. Yeah. They just be like. You're just gonna have to book her a flight and be like, yeah, I yeah, like it. you coming out there, but I gotta move first. Yeah, you know? I get that. Yeah, you know it, it, it was 13 years and a baby before my mom even came out. No one from Michigan came out to visit Damn, me. I didn't have a like... whole, I had to invent a human <clears throat> for her to love to come out. <laughs> my brother stayed talking about, he lived in Texas. He said, you know, think about going to Chicago. Why are you always going to Chicago, man? Come out here. Right. My, family and lives my nephew out. all in. He's like, yo, can I come? He's like, yeah. You Anytime. Know, like, Anytime. my family lives out here, and they don't come by my house. Everybody, well, they got bigger houses. Yeah. A lot more but stuff. You live, you live kind of deep <laughs> in the corner. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, it's, it's more they have more stuff. Ain't nobody coming. <laughs> <laughs> like, come by. Got Whoever pool, got the biggest crib do the invite. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, right. come through. My mom don't come by as much. We go by, we go to her house. Mm. But she was always at our house. I mean, she lived with us for two she years. She's tired of y'all, man. Come she, see me. She be, like, driving <laughs> Come here. see she, me, I'm like, I'll go over there. I miss your juice. mom, man. It's my yeah. arch nemesis. Game she be coming out. <laughs> she stopped by. Uh, she was so good. You be like, yeah. Hey. I was like, oh, you. <laughs> Miss Kia. <laughs> but we grew, like, Cotty, it was funny because, like, for us, that's normal. Just games. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and for Cotty growing up, she was like, we didn't play games like this. Mm. So what they do for fun as a family? They were nature people. Okay. They, I you know, respect that. I like they that. did a lot of nature stuff and, like, going places and Does traveling. Does she still like that, Cotty? Yeah. Yeah, she'd okay. be like, "I'm gonna go, you know, let's go for." I'd be like, "I love that nature stuff." I'd be like, uh, "Hell no!" I'm good. What's that? What's that garden she likes so much? Oh, botanical, botanical. Uh, well, no, it's called. Uh, it's a Pasadena. Yeah, really yeah. she go there, and she took me one time. I was like, this is the most boring thing. I've yeah, ever done you, you gotta, you life. gotta, <laughs> you gotta know your audience. It was That's cool for like I, an I, hour, and then yeah. I was like, right. "All right." Because me and Sabrina, we both billions? vibe on going like you know stuff like that. Like, let's go over here. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Man. Yeah, I'd be like, so we'd be nah. going on our haunted adventures. Oh, yeah. Everybody else in the group on tour, we'd be like, what y'all doing? We're going to this haunted bridge. I'm like, <laughs> and then we wander off. And then they'd be mad when we do some fun stuff. Y'all went to see alligators at the day? Like, well, y'all turned us down five now that other times. I would have went to at alligators. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. That was I always like, when I'm turn them in the road, mad adventures. Mm -hmm. It was something to see out when you were incapacitated. Oh yeah, yeah. Except for that surgery. Time. <laughs> I was done. Outside of that, mad adventure. Yeah, we like Chaz. Let's go over here. And look at this. Yeah, Chaz, right. like, let's, let's do, do it. it. Always down. Let's do it. I love that kind of stuff. That, Outside, I have to be already like Cotty's thing because she says I never want to do it. And I'm like, you catch me after like if I didn't just worked out or mm -hmm. whatever, or if I'm already been doing stuff and you're like, let's go on a walk, fine, mm -hmm. I'm already dirty. Once I shower, I'm not going back into the outside. <laughs> like, I'm already good. I feel like, you 100%, though. Like, she wants to do stuff, like, when I'm clean. Mm -hmm. I'm like, outside is dirty. You can shower again. I don't want to yeah. do yeah, you that. can't shower I'm comfortable. Again. Like, I, I feel you, you know like, that after shower yeah. lotion feeling where you just feel <laughs> clean and relaxed? I'm like, I'm not going back into the outside. I'm not, I'm not, in there, I'm not doing this. You don't like the second wet towel? Right, it's not dry all the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, once I'm good, I'm good. You got to catch me. Do all your stuff early. Like, we're going to go on a walk here, take the kids to the park, do it all. Because once I'm done, right. I'm not going back out. See, I would go. I shower a lot during the day. Everybody's like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, nah, we can go work out. Then I'm going to shower. Then we can go take a hike. Mm -hmm. Come back, shower. If I cook. I'm gonna go upstairs hey, shower. You cook, you shower. <laughs> I don't like smelling like food. I feel that. I get that. I, I feel don't. That. So every who smells like onions every and garlic. Meal, man, Craig I pour a, a bowl lot. of cereal. Woo! <laughs> I gotta take a shower, man. That honey bunches of oats is on me. Ah, the fruity pebbles again. <laughs> Damn it, it's on me. It's on me, man. You smell that? So like when we have game nights, you know, uh -huh. I'm usually grilling. Yeah. I'll do all that stuff early, mm -hmm. and that's why I'm usually hopping out the shower when y'all get there because I'm like, I'm not gonna shower, grill, and then shower again. I'm like, right. nah, I'm not. If I'm out. drinking with y'all for too long, I might go shower because I don't want to be the dude smelling like liquor. <laughs> That's just the next If y'all at my house, it's just, I don't. Craig be drinking like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
yeah, he absorbs it through. It usually don't come out of your pores in the next day, or if you sweating. Oh, but look, you said you're a sweater, sweater. I'm right? A sweater. That's right. I think it's looking come out your pores, and you yeah. be like, "Why does it smell like?" Yeah, I be smelling. I be like, "You smell homeless." Oh, that's me. Cotty's a <laughs> Cotty's a sweater, and when she goes out with her friends, she don't even have to tell me what she did. I know when she drank. Mm. I'm like, "You, I can smell it." That's funny. It's, yeah. it's like a movie. I'm like, "I smell it." Yeah, <laughs> smell it. Yeah, she come in. Oh, we had a good time. Like you stink. We had a good time. Why does she sound like a pirate? <laughs> that's how I feel, yeah. like, that's how I feel like she looks time. to me. We yeah. had a good time. Scurvy. Ah. The plank. So eyes be low. Smell I'm like, I'm, I only had chest. one glass of wine. I'm it's like, always one like, glass. It's always, always one glass. Always one. one glass. Always. I only have one. Uh-huh. I can't I even say it. I only have one. My eyes look like Michael Jordan. <laughs> right. I only had one glass. <laughs> like, Jesus Shut Christ. Up. You had more than one. I, I promise we only had one. We need to get uh, Chaz drunk. Why? Because you're just the only one left. Chaz what never drank. Uh, I've been drunk one time. I was 21. It was awful. <laughs> Is that when you beat up the homeless dude? Oh, no. That was a regular day. Uh, no, that, was, that was like two weeks ago. Some random Tuesday. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I was in Hollywood for my 21st birthday, and that was my first year out here. And this is when they were, they might have been trying to build a W or something like that. Whatever it was, but all the scaffoldings were around. And I went to this part, uh, I went to Big Wang's, right? And oh, then I boy. had, I had, uh, <laughs> then I don't know anything about alcohol, all right? So I had a beer or two, and then I had, which is awful. I don't know how people drink beer. Beer is uh, disgusting. Hey, yeah. terrible. And then I had something from Manhattan. Does that sound familiar? Yeah, yeah. Manhattan. 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 Manhattan's a good no, 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 no. strong. Wait, wait, it wasn't that. It was like a bunch of drinks. Oh, you probably had a Long Island. I had a Long oh. Island. Oh. What are you doing? That's Whoa. the setup. That's the setup for the Long first drink. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> this is how much I don't drink. I'm like, yeah, somewhere in New York. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Long Island. This is Manhattan. That is a drink, but no, a Long <laughs> yeah. Island. I used so to I order had, those. I had a Long Island. Yeah, I mean, they get the job done. So then, yeah. so then you know, you drunk it, and then we're all sitting around, and then uh, my man Jason was like, yo, let's go walk. And I was like, cool, we go walk in Hollywood. And yo, as soon as I stepped outside, there, it was like a, a nice breeze, crisp of air. Like, whoosh, and I don't remember shit. I remember us hanging on scaffoldings. Like, <laughs> I, <laughs> and I remember trying to pull my man Jason off. We fall on the ground. I just remember like flash. I remember there's this Asian group who was around and they were taking a pictures. music group? Nah, they were just like a group of like a travel. They were just know. dancing. They like were the tourists. Traveling Asian. <laughs> they, be well. they were tourists and then uh I just remember us all up in their pictures. <laughs> and they were like, at first they were like, ah, oh, and then we just started following. They were like, oh, more pictures. And they were like, okay. And it was yeah, it was awful. A Long Island is the setup drink for a first person because it feels like they're doing a lot for you because yeah. there's four liquors yeah. right. in a Long Island that don't go together. <laughs> so you're going to have yeah. a... Uh, and, and mind yeah. you, I already don't drink. I don't do right. this. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so I remember, like, uh, we got a, a taxi cab the days pre Uber. We got a cab. And I remember I was like, hey, is this a good tip? And he was like, nah. And I remember I gave him more money. I was like, How's that? he was like, what? <laughs> oh, he was playing you. <laughs> and I remember I gave him some more I- money. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I woke up. I couldn't find my wallet. I lost my wallet and my keys. And well, shit. yeah, you just went too hard. And it was just. Yeah, but I, mean, I don't. I don't remember. I was like, I think I was like, I recall three drinks. And then I recall, recall blotches yeah. of of life. Well, you had a lot though at once. You don't drink at all. That's a lot. Yeah, Long lot. Island is a lot. It and he a, mixed. He mixed the beer yeah, and the regular. Yeah, liquor. it was a lot going That's on. A lot. And That's then uh, and that was the that. last time I've been. It's not the last time I've had alcohol. <clears> but I don't really drink like that anyways. But it was yeah. definitely the last time. Because every time, every once in a while, you you do a wedding, you do a toast or some shit. Yeah, you know. I'm saying, but it, definitely, and people try to get me drunk on wine all the time. Are you oh. trying this wine? I was like, I've seen the effects of wine. I'm I don't <laughs> like drunk wine oh. because I feel like the 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 headache, the pressure is different. It's just you get more. I'd rather just have a little bit of liquor and then and then the sake. N- we had our sake no, day. Oh, did we? We had a sake day. Did yeah, I? I, I like, Tony's drunk oh, story. Oh, sake. I was sake McGee. <laughs> <laughs> I was tearing it up. So I was trying. I was trying some. I was trying like sake. And I was like, okay, okay. And I was smooth. like, and I was like, Chaz, man, he don't want his. I was. <laughs> it tastes like smooth vinegar. It's yeah. super smooth. Tony was the like, first time I had it, I was like, all right. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, and then. When it hits you, it come around the corner. The only thing about it is <laughs> most times, <laughs> most times when you're drinking so- uh, sake, you're at uh, what do you call them? The sushi spot, sushi spot, sushi spot yeah. or whatever. So I had so much food mm-hmm. that I got drunk for a minute and then it went away because yeah. I, I was so full. Cool. We were at a so sushi spot. Uh, that's where the club was. The, the, the comedy the, club the comedy was in the sushi, in the sushi spot. spot. And then uh, we were just eating because I remember having those alligator rolls and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And then uh, yeah, Tony was just knocking back this like bottles. Like not, not shots, like bottles sake, yeah. of sake. Yeah, I got they caught out sushi. at Sushi Delves. You know that's the oh, spot yeah, yeah. where they do the whole show. And yeah, like Sushi the, Delves is cool. They trick you. 
Yeah. Because every song you end up doing shots and then they bring them to your table and smack the table and it falls over in all the glasses. <laughs> and you got to drink it. <laughs> you gotta drink it. Wait, is that the spot in North Hollywood? Yeah. Yeah, that's burned down, right? Uh, Yeah, I believe yeah. so. Oh, it burned down? Yeah, yeah. it burned. Oh, wow. Somebody yeah. got two days like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Have you guys had rice wine? Yes. No. When I was in Japan... They had like different like rice liquor rice wine. I was mm. like, what is what is this? And they had it was a bunch of flavors. You get blueberry apple, and mm. I was like, oh, I'll have these, and they was delicious. Yeah, and I was like, oh. And next thing I know, I was like, we got we got to make it back. <laughs> <laughs> we got to make it oh, back. Oh yeah. And do you ever have to shit? I got to shit after alcohol. Like the next time day. I ever drink? No, I'm like my shit is immediate. Mm. Nah, nah, I'm like oh alcohol, then I'm like. Ugh. Your stomach's too Chaz pure. got them strong yeah. bowels, man. <laughs> I remember he had that stroke or whatever he had. He went straight to the shitter. Straight shitter. to the shitter. <laughs> In the restaurant. It wasn't a stroke, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my heart. Whatever I got it a was, shit. he shut down on us. And then he woke up sweaty and went and took a dump. <laughs> ah, my heart. Yo, right. I woke up so sweaty. Yo. I was like, yo, who poured water on me? I thought somebody like trying, he to, was trying to splash me to wait, wake me up. Oh, you were about to faint. Meanwhile, I did. Faint. Though, he, I did. He okay. did. I That's did. when you get that flash and your whole shirt be wet and like, what? He <laughs> shut down. We watched him disintegrate. <laughs> and we was just like, Jazz! <laughs> I remember watching just Fonzo over me. Fonzo McCullough over me talking about some Chaz, Chaz. Man. I was like, uh, uh, uh. Chaz's head slowly <laughs> fell on my hand. I was like, yo, <laughs> Chaz. <laughs> Where we going here? He was out of here, man. And oh, I remember man. enjoying his big ass burger with egg on mm-hmm. it at that spot. It was yeah. delicious. <laughs> what and spot then, was it? It was this black owned spot that was in Birdbank for yeah, a little they bit. Closed. They closed down. What was the spot we used to go to on the corner? That in might Burbank. Have been it. Like down it was like down. We would go there and eat on the late night. Coral Cafe. Oh, Coral Cafe? Is that, is that it was place? more of a restaurant type. Yeah. Old because school the, restaurant? this other spot was, was bigger. I okay. mean it was smaller. That spot was smaller. And right next to us. Coral Cafe was definitely the I miss going Oh, there we too. used to hit that all, all the, time. the time. Coral Cafe was the first time I recognized Tony was about to blow up. Because we were all, you know, we all had our phones out. And his, this is before he turned his notifications off. And his <laughs> just, it just kept going. <laughs> and I was just like, what is, what is this? And it was just his social media. And it was just boom, boom, boom. And I was like, oh, I shit. remember two times. Tony once, Mar- I think Marlon shot a out. And then Kevin Hart did. And it was crazy. It was like 800 something later. Like Tony was comments. Was, it was just like, <laughs> no, forget it was crazy. And I was like, and this was a long time ago. Yeah. And I was like, oh, all right. Cool. Yeah. Had to change the settings. I was like, all right, man, I'll turn yeah. this off. Because I'll be fumbling <laughs> with the electronics. I'll be like, man, I'll get rid of this. Yeah, it's all day. It's all day, though. Everything you posted, you get like, it's, that's got to be overwhelming to look at that all day and just see the. It definitely, I remember when, my, when I got to that point, mm-hmm. like on, on one hand, you're like, all right, I'm here. Mm-hmm. And on the other hand, I was like, I'm turning this shit off. Yeah, it, it, must take, it must take programming to be like, too much. Oh, don't look at, the, don't look. Oh, right. I uh, what did they say? Uh, yeah. I turn. I turned. I, I have no only notifications I have on are my uh, alarm, like from my house. My you know, see who's by my house, mm-hmm. and I, I don't even have text messages on. I don't have because I'll go. Che- I'm gonna check it. Mm-hmm. So I don't need to be alerted that anything's happening. Uh, and then when I when people call me, that'll be alert. Other than that, everything is off because it's just it'll be all day. Right. It's just between the, all the social medias and your friends texting. Whatever, it was just your phone would never turn off. It mm-hmm. would just light up all day. My texts are my texts are on, but just anything social media, I'll that's all. <laughs> but Tony has like eight hundred unread messages right. also. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I that. turn the text off because of the group chat. The only time I get annoyed at the group chat is when I'm screen recording and then y'all be like, bleh, bleh, bleh. it's like y'all, y'all, it'd be quiet the whole time. I'm screen recording. Bleh, 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 bleh. Then I'm like, come on, y'all, hush. And then I gotta turn it off real quick, but. My text messages stay on. Yeah, I think I turned off my Instagram uh, notifications years ago. It was like, I don't even think I was reposting the voiceovers when I turned that off. Mm. I was just doing regular. Yeah, because at Coral, you weren't doing voiceovers. Yeah, yet. I was just doing regular, um, you know, uh, regular posts, Travis, whatever. Mm-hmm. I had to cut that down. I just started giving short messages and then leaving my phone on the charger. And sooner or later, people were like, uh if we need something, yeah. text them. If not, he's oh, not Craig is respond. trash, man. Uh, man, once they start, I start seeing phones cooking popcorn bags and stuff when they <laughs> ring. I was like, oh, I'm leaving that on the he charger said over there. Yeah. I get it. 
I get it. I was talking about that the other day. I was doing the watch party last night. And uh, so I know y'all need to tune in to these watch parties, man. We watched the Billy Holiday joint. That oh, I was crazy. How was it? That shit was crazy. I got to <laughs> see that. It was. Lee Daniels be taking it there, man. I'm way behind. This girl, I see why she won the Golden Globe, first of all. She did great. All right. I want to see. But that. it's very. I called Tone Bell mid. Watch party like this is what we doing though. <laughs> you treacherous, man. Oh, hey, Tom, man. Hey. Tom's character treacherous. I know he was in there. Oh, he's a when you had bag. to call the, the character it. directly. So I called him directly, dog. He was a dirt bag. Why are you doing her like this? Man, he was like that's what? Exactly. I'm he was asleep. Like, no, There's nobody Tom, here. No, that's him. That ain't me. Now look out, man. I remember Tom was saying he would not cut his beard for nothing, and then he did two back to back movies where he was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. cuz he did Sylvie's Love and then Billy Holiday and he's playing like the same kind he of person. He looks he looks the part. He looks right. the time period so, in that joint. Cuz he had it like yeah, in his contract where I'm never cutting my beard. Yeah. And then two movies he was like If he had a beard in that movie it wouldn't, it nah, wouldn't yeah, fit. Yeah, beard in the 1920s yeah. was it 20s 40s. 40s? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, it, it wouldn't had, fit. It had to be a worth a worthy sum. Well, he did, it, 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 and both of those movies are doing, you know, they're streamed, and they're doing very right, well, so right. it definitely was a good career choice. And with that you know Golden I mean? Globe win, a lot of people right. going to tune in. She right. killed it, man, because I, I was looking her up. I, I thought she was just an actress. I was like, oh, she's a singer, mm-hmm. oh. and she ain't even got that many credits. I'm just like, she what, killed her name? this role, see Andre Day. Andre, okay. And so. killed it. Because I was going to watch it anyway because Tone was in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, I didn't even know Tone. I'm so out the loop. I didn't know Tone yeah. was even in it. Tone was in there. Yeah. So like, I've been in that dungeon for the last four days. He's <laughs> Dirt bag, but, uh, Tony ain't gonna call him for a while. They, they, he goes, I'm gonna talk like, to him nah. again this weekend. I'm like, hey man, look out! <laughs> but now we, I want to watch it because Tone is such a nice guy. Such uh, a nice dude. Yeah. Um, was uh, how did I even get to that? Yeah, watch what party. He said phones blowing up. You said watch. Party. Oh, so what? Everybody was smoking like crazy in this movie because it's the '40s. Everybody, yeah. Billy Holiday. It was cigarette after cigarette. Everybody, every scene, cigarette. And I was just like, so we were talking about that, and I was like, well, you got to look at it. Back then, that's what people did. They right. didn't know about the cancer right, risk. They right. didn't know what we know. Because so my mom still smoked. She smoked my whole life. Mm-hmm. And so, um, well, did she move people... over to the skinny cigarettes? That's what my mom did. I'm like, mom, nah. it's the same thing. She still smoked Salem Lights. Okay. Salem Lights, same <laughs> brand. Like, you know, um, so, and then I was like, well, that's going to be us in the future like, with these cell phones. Mm-hmm. This is what we do all day, every day, all the time. We hooked on these things. Mm-hmm. Even, even they could be bad for us, like you said. You could yeah. pop popcorn on it. Like, why, why was y'all doing that? This is what we did at the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. And so that, I made that correlation, like because everybody was cigaretted out. It was just like <laughs> doubling up <laughs> FBI agents, <laughs> regular right. people. Now that people have two phones, I be looking right. at them weird. I'm like, uh, yep. They look at me crazy when I go upstairs to get my phone to come down and make a call. They're like. You ain't got your phone? Nah. <laughs> I leave mine upstairs. I I got really good at leaving my phone alone until COVID hit, and then I needed to be on my phone because that was my only source of, right. you know, making things. money or doing anything. So I like now I'm on it a lot again. But as mm-hmm. soon as I get back to where I'm on the road and stuff again, like I I was leaving my phone. I had to catch up in the group chat. Like, hold on, where we yeah, at? Yeah, the but catch ups. Someone <laughs> told me all you need is that little button, and you put that on the back of your phone, you safe. And I'm like, I don't know. Mm. Mm. Nah, as Let's soon see. as as soon as we get back to normal, I'm about to be. I used to leave mine upstairs. I, I, I feel like my, know what it was my phone is money. I don't ever want to leave it. That, and that's why I'm <laughs> right now. <laughs> I need it. I was like, like if I gotta call it because I've had it before where Niall hit me about something. And I didn't hit him back and hit somebody else. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that just happened to me. Yeah. So then I was like, I don't, I mean, and you know, it's, it's going to happen here and there, but yeah. I was like, I, don't, I mean, you know, there's opportunities that come and go, but it's just, you just never know when you might get a call. This right. is money. That's how it, I view it. Is. It. it is yeah. money. I look at it, it's straight money. Matter of fact, the one project I did with, uh, uh, well, it didn't drop, but uh, I happened to have my phone and mm-hmm. they had called three other people and they didn't answer. Yeah. And I just happened to answer and they were like, we shooting something with Lauren London. I was like, oh, well. <laughs> All right. I All shall right. be there. Y'all make me feel bougie. I'm like, well, if you call me, you obviously wanted me. So there is nobody else. Well, Craig, I, I don't have the long history you. of successes. You, <laughs> I don't have a long history that goes back to what was your first? Uh, what's your first credit? W Menace? No, uh, Wayne's Brothers. Yeah, uh, yeah. I In '96, Wayne's Brothers. '96. There you go. Wayne's Brothers was before Don't Be a Menace. Yeah. It no, wasn't it? We no. did. Don't no. Don't be a menace then. 
Yeah, because you were the first I don't remember. one that got shot. I actually don't remember <laughs> which uh, was oh, the yeah. first project. Remember Greg all, got shot? See, yeah. I, don't, I, don't have, I know I what was my first project was. You? See, I was, his assist, the very I was first assist, guy? I was an assistant on that project, mm-hmm. and it was going to be, I was going to do the first line in all their movies. Mm-hmm. And then I started getting busy, and it was like, nah. So, yeah. Because remember he came out, and he was like, every, what, had what a is it? big that? afro. Yeah, every, some, uh, somebody gets shot, and he <laughs> Oh. And the next one came up. That was him. Yeah. Wait, you wasn't the one with the cake, was you? No, that, he, was, that was the guy I, after I was him. Before he him. was the first, okay. the very, the very first, first guy. Line. And then he gets shot, and then the one after him comes. That came out ninety six. That came out ninety ninety five ninety six. One of those, I, I was just getting out of high school, so no, even before that, I did Celtic Pride. And Major so, Pain. I think Celtic Pride was 94. I think Craig's first credit is way earlier than Yeah, Major Pain might have been my first credit. What'd you do on Major Pain? There you go. I was an assistant. That was nah. one of the funniest jobs ever. We were uh, PAs, and we didn't know. We just got out of school, and they were like, all right, we need some background crosses. <laughs> and we were like, all right, cool. So we had the kids the the kids on the ca- campus supposed mm. to just walk straight. We had them walking, falling down hills. <laughs> Director <laughs> like, cut, what are y'all doing? We were like, uh... <laughs> You said you thought it would be funny. Uh, <laughs> it's like take three. He kept seeing people fall. I was like, what's going on? Up there? Who directed it? That was Nick Castle. Nick Castle. That movie so funny. That's though. hilarious, bro. That was yeah. So uh, once again, my point is, is that I don't have. People to, <laughs> I have to catch every opportunity because someone's like, nah, I'm looking for Craig. You know, if Craig's I'm looking for Chaz, break. I'm not gonna be like, ah, oh, Chaz. Mm, yeah, right. I'm gonna wait till he calls back. Then I might be like, oh, I needed Chaz's voice though. Until someone calls someone else. So like, people yes, you try know. to, yeah, I was calling you. I was like, yeah, yeah. Because it doesn't turn out the same when I'm looking for Tony's voice and then I get somebody else. I'm like, but I heard Tony's <laughs> I mean, voice. That's, that, that's true. <laughs> that's funny. Um, <laughs> I was walking the other day. I can't walk without music. Can y'all walk without music or so, work out or run or anything? I can, but it's frowned upon. Man. Like, I don't like it. I can't move. I don't like it. Especially... I can't even go up the block without some soundtrack. <laughs> the, yeah, just listening to Earth is not. No. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't really. The city. I'm yeah. not a fan. Now, the if city. I'm if I'm with somebody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you got you know. like if I go on my hikes with like Greg or whoever. Mm-hmm. Like I'm like, oh okay, we having we chopping it up. Makes yeah. the time go by fast. Yeah, listening to myself breathe is a noise. No. <laughs> That's all I hear when anytime yeah. I ever work out with no <laughs> I'm like, I am gonna die. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it, I feel like I feel like I feel that. I feel like when you work out without sound, now you're just thinking about how tired you are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now you're just like, I'm out of gas, I'm I can't make it. Look how hard I'm breathing, my chest hurts. Like it's just like yeah. music just kinda And it's you motivating. Just, you're especially if the right song come on. I still work out the fifty cents, get get rich. There's some tracks on yeah, there. Them tracks on there, they'd be like, dun, dun, we in here. I'd be like, oh. <laughs> 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 There's some tracks <laughs> on there, man. Because I, I always got, I remember Chaz got me a pair of headphones. For, it was my birthday or something. Something like that, birthday. And then, uh, so I was going through, like, headphones. And the big ones that, I like the ones that encompass you too. the ear. That's my favorite. Yeah, those are the leave me alone phones. Yeah, <laughs> and it's just they don't press down on the on the ear bonage. Yeah, and then I get the I get the wireless joints, and you know, they cool. Yeah, I can't go back to a wire now. Now that we've had wireless, like I I don't want. I'm, yeah, I'm just here. I can't just, I can't do this in my regular day. Right. Yeah, the cord the cord be all up in the mix. Just off. be doing my too arms much. be moving when I run yeah. like this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like even on a, it, yeah. on a plane anywhere, I just don't want wires anymore. Like yeah. we're just too used to it. I feel uh, it. Earbuds, I don't mind for laying down. Like late at night, uh, Cotty be asleep. I ain't trying to be loud. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The kids are asleep, so I put the earbuds in because I can still lay on my side. Yeah, and stuff like that without you know the big ones. So that's one thing I do like about earbuds, and that's what you know the Raycons are. They're mm. the earbuds. Uh, so you can lay on your side. You can lay you on your side. In, That's you know a game changer for a lot of people. It is for some. Because yeah. in the bed, because so, hey, when I'm in the bed, I got to have something going. Whether uh, I'm watching something I'm or the same. music, Always. I have to have something going. I can't just be in there in the dark. Mm. I do thoughts. whatever. Yeah, I do whatever I'm doing until I get sleepy. Yeah, and then I can shut it down. Mm. Like I'll be playing dominoes and I don't realize I'm tired until I almost drop the phone. On my oh, face. the phone in the face is the key. <laughs> That's what I'm like. Okay, I'm exhausted. <laughs> tired to shut it down. The shut phone down. in the mouth. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my tooth. You look around and nobody in there. Oh, oh, hey. Did you see that? <laughs> uh, if you guys want to check out the Raycons, uh, they're offering 15 percent off all their products. All their products. Yeah, all the products. Yeah, 15 percent off. Oh, look. Buy Raycon dot uh, com slash issues, and that's it. And then you get your fifty percent off. Uh, 
Feel free to grab a pair and spare. And a spare. Oh, that's what I said. Grab a pair and a spare. I thought it was grab a pair and a spare? Hey, yeah. Why not? Because you know uh, you're going to lose them. Well, oh, pretty much. You know you're going to lose them, so you need yeah. to spare. Whatever you get on that front, you got to get to. <laughs> I haven't had the earbuds yet. Have you? Has anybody had them? Have you lost them? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't. Well, had I had a pair that just stopped working. Oh, okay. And you just stopped. Did your Raycon still work? Yeah. yeah. There you go. It still work. Uh, Game changing, baby. Game changing. <laughs> it's Raycon.com, guys. R A Y C O N.com slash issues. And uh, you get 50% off all their products. No, no doubt. Yeah. Your first credit <coughs> is Major Payne. Okay. 95. What's the, what's it's the... a miscellaneous. It's set production assistant. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then after that, Don't Be a Menace, 96. Most Wanted. Oh, yeah. 97. Most Wanted. I was uh, shadowing Keenan on Most mm-hmm. Wanted. No. That was Keenan's uh, action movie. That's his action movie, mm-hmm. No yeah. Mustache. All I kept teasing him about was No Mustache, <laughs> No Beard. <laughs> I was like you shame, but a nice shame with. Mm-hmm. He that, had an action movie run. That was him in. Uh, he had that. He had Glimmer Man, wait, and he had a uh, like Low Down Dirty Shame. Shame. What's the one he did with Homeboy? Uh, Steven Seagal. Yeah, that was a uh, Glimmer Man. Glimmer Man. Okay. He had a dope scene in there where they tried to get him at the apartment. That's when they had the uh, the formula: put a young black actor with a white white dude. Yeah. yeah. Then they just pressed that. After you make, they that's what they would do. After you make success and build your audience in your, in your audience, then they'd be like, "Oh, let's attach him with this." That formula, it was, it was. was Damn, they tried and true, but it was like Steven Seagal had faded by that time, so it was just like, and plus he ain't got the personality to keep up with Keenan, so it was just like, I would have liked to see that with him and like Wesley Snipes. Oh yeah, but they was trying to do the tag team because yeah. Wesley's has has those one liners from Blade. It would have been, <laughs> I guarantee you, if Glimmer Man was Wesley and Keenan, it would have made more money. Yeah, definitely. Right, because it was like people people just got tired of Steven Seagal. Yeah, because he easy a wins. Line. Yeah. yeah, no, no real personality. Yeah, the same, yeah. the same. Yeah. No moves. kicks, <laughs> no kicks, no oh. kicks. And it was easy win, McGee. It was like, yeah, I would have floor swept him. <laughs> <laughs> he became no, a punchline nice. fast. Yeah, he he He's with it, nice, yeah. you know, but still, it was just like the career. Where was the charisma? <laughs> Zero in the pony. I never thought people liked this movie, and then he ran like this. Every time he was oh, running. Oh, Butler Law. <laughs> Butler Law was my favorite. That was his debut. But after that, it was like it was no real struggle. What yeah. is he? White. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, Italian. But he looks like something. Yeah, I was he like, always looked like an Italian dude to yeah. me. Um, Maybe the squinty, you know, his eyes are squinting yeah. the voice. Well, he might have been Native American. That, let's see, I can and buy some of the movies that, he might have played. Like, well, on Deadly Ground, they they went with that angle. Okay. But I don't know if I'd buy it. Let me see. You know I knew it was could. somewhere, and it's like he might have been. He could be. Well, there's not were, so many. There's so many roles you could write a dude that's yeah. six four, couple hundred yeah, pounds with a ponytail. He never looks that tall, but he's tall as hell. He didn't cut his ponytail his entire career. I didn't know that either. I didn't know he was that tall. He he had a resurgence. Later on, when he did uh, Exit Wounds with DMX, right. yeah. it was like, oh, okay, box office again. Yeah. And then it was like, ha! <laughs> Guess where he's from? Where is he from? Lansing. Is it really? Oh, yeah. did you not you gotta, know You got to claim that, Jack. I never would have never one. know. Where's your shirt at? <laughs> <laughs> Steven Seagal. Steve Lansing, Michigan. Yeah? Well, there you one go. of the toughest guys ever. Yeah. I got to see how He'd be coming for cats, too. I wonder if he was born interviews. there or was he like, if he grew up there? He was born there. Cause he's See, ne- ah, no one ever American, Serbian, Russian. I mean, that's white. Okay. Yeah, yeah I know, I know, but I mean, you know, they have a different white look than like mm, you know Serbian to Russian. <laughs> I, I never knew. No, where. I was way off. I was like Italian, that, it would, Native you know, American. When you can't piece it together, you go Italian. I went with the movies. <laughs> Born in, in Lansing. There you go, man. <laughs> Well, well, there you Lance go. Lanson's own. Come on. You got to claim that, Chad. I will now. a big star, man. Yeah, you know, it's just me, Magic. Under Siege. They just going to be on Chad's again. But he don't know nothing about <laughs> this. We man. all knew hey. Steve yeah, was yeah, right. the Yeah, right. I guarantee. Well, I'm not going to say I guarantee no one knew that. But because somebody's. You know, see, Everybody like knows everything here. in the comments. Oh, for sure. Uh, after they they're never wrong. I, I've never heard one thing ever about Steven Seagal growing up. Like I said, it was always John Smoltz, Moose and Muhammad, Magic. I've heard you personally claim Sinbad. Well, he's from. He's from. Michigan. Ann Arbor? Is that what No, you? he's from uh, Benton Harbor. Oh, Benton Harbor. Yeah. And uh, then, like, uh, cats from Michigan, that, that's the you thing. You claim like, Magic Johnson all the time? Well, he's from Lansing. Yeah. He's he's uh, from Lansing. And then, like, uh, Derek Jeter, and uh, he, I know he grew up in, uh, I want to say Grand Rapids. I might be off. And then, uh, 
You try to claim Mayweather. Floyd. Mayweather, Mayweather yeah. from Grand Rapids. Yeah. from Grand Rapids for sure. So, you know, like, there's the Michigan and then, like, Lansing. Of course, it's not going to be uh, Grand a Rapids. gang, but... You know, and then, of course, I take all the Motown cats. I take everybody from Detroit, Stevie Oh, Wonder, man, look out. Wait, so wait. If look you were out. born there, you accept them. them? Or they have to spend a certain amount of time there? Do you, you accept me, I take, No. I take, I take oh. the cats. Because <laughs> you claim Chicago. Because you know, Mayweather was in Rapids, Vegas. Man. Yeah, man. Huh? Except like He's he, in Vegas now. He was when he was a young kid. He, <laughs> he didn't break stride. He did. He like, no, no. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you don't accept me, no. Chaz? So, so I just think where you grow up at. You know, I, I, mean, I think it's grow your, up. Your you four, can't yeah. just say born. I was born in San Diego. I was born in Alabama. Well, Jordan and was born in Brooklyn, and we claim him you as can't being claim from New York. Was the Jordan. Gold Jordan. Yeah, he I didn't know he was born in Brooklyn until recently. Yeah, and Pac was, he was raised in New York. Now, he could be claimed by New York. Because he his first Baltimore. rap name was MC New York. Yeah. yeah no, Tupac that. can claim New York. He can claim. He's so many places. He can claim a lot of things. But I feel like it's where you grew he up. He lived in New York more than he lived out west. He just and more than he lived in Baltimore. And Because he, he, he went from New York to Baltimore. So the, the majority of his life is East Coast. Right. Mm-hmm. He just latched on to the west. And the west was like, we'll take it. Right. Yeah. Right. And but he showed go. so much love to the West. And he, showed, he had so he much growth in the, in the East. West. It was like, yeah, man. And he's yeah, also is. a very powerful speaker. Right. Mm-hmm. And his growth is in the West. You know what I mean? The, you with see the, how the West is trying Panthers, to claim whatever they can get. The, the Panthers, were the Panthers in the East? What yes. do you, what the do you think they were? Where they, they start in Chicago? What does Craig where they Wayne start claim? No, you just asked where they start. Where they over here. Don't try to You know what I meant. You know what I meant. Oakland, baby. What do you claim, Craig? I said I'm from New Cali. I claim okay. it both. All right. Man, look out, Craig. Come on, Craig. Look man, out. Man, I got. That's crap. I You're moved from here in New junior York. high. At least you oh, didn't sell well, out see? and go with That's the Lakers. Saying. So I did junior high all in New York. Then as soon as high school started, what grade? I was out here. Out here? Ninth grade. That's when I moved out. Ah, I see you from New York. Yeah, that's tough one. I, I, I was in New Cali. Cali. I don't know, man. You spent. I know everybody, every place in Cali, and I know everybody. You lived here a long time, but you. We're from high school, where New people York. like, nah, he but went to school out here. But you're from New York. But if he came out here 13, but you're still that's from 13, New York. 14, that's, that's, that's still, still young. That's New York, though. You're from that's New York. Both. I feel you're like not I'm both. From you're New from New York. You're from New York. You, you from can both. you can want to claim L.A. because you've been out here a long you, time. You'd have to do. But you came have to do out here. I was born in New York. Me and Jordan's from New York. <laughs> yeah, Jordan's not from New York. Me and Michael Jordan's from, from New York. You would have to do. <laughs> what, what's, what is the byway? Which one do you do? Is it would he be New York by way of L.A. or L.A. by way of New York? New, New York, be L.A. By way of New York, the by way is is first, so it'd be by way of New York. So yeah. L.A. by way of New York. Same with Jordan. He's from North Carolina by way of New York. <laughs> I mean, if you if you give Jordan that, you got to take New York. Oh, yeah, I'm by, by you, way of you. You went through all that <laughs> in New York. I'm by way. Of. A lot of your first by experiences of. were in New York. Yeah, but a lot of my first experiences were in L.A. as well. Like what? Well, Sex. Thirteen. I was about to say. Also, 13, you were a virgin when you when you yeah, came to Yeah, for sure I was. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my first uh, job, car. Uh, you got memories out here. Yeah, my first NBA game. Uh, what were your first, first in New York? Uh, steps. steps <laughs> fight. Steps, words. Steps, uh, fight. Friends. Uh, boner. Yep, yep. Yeah. You, had <laughs> uh, you had to think about that. You had to think about that. If you didn't get a boner until yeah. 13, you're an anomaly. I, I wasn't thinking about boner. I was like, damn, what was my first boner? Mm. <laughs> first sickness, yeah. first everything. Your first everything damn near was in. I almost recalled my first boner, too. I was like, oh, <laughs> I remember that teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised, though, you're like one of the few New York people that really don't want to fully embrace the New Yorkness. I embrace Full both. On. It's just because I get so much love on both sides that I can't be like, nah, and nah. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of deep I ties. I get it. You moved in. Because I did, my whole life was in the Bay. Other, we, I was born in San Diego. We lived in L.A. <laughs> till I was two, I think, and then or three, and then we were in the Bay Area. So it's like, I am, my family is L.A., but me and my brothers are Bay Area. And then like, I traveled to New York a lot. So, and then it was a... Uh, I was on computers early, so it wasn't like the phone bill and all that where I couldn't keep in contact. So yeah. the mm-hmm. contact stayed strong. Yeah. Because you were born in Lansing, but you knew you went to Chicago. I was born in Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids. Uh, I had that, that that gray flip phone with the unlimited calls for $25 <laughs> a month. My uh, uncle brought it out the from gray college. Flip. I, like, I remember that. Skytel. Was it Sky? Which one was that? The flip? I, 
It kept I, me in contact. I held out on cell phones <laughs> for so long. I didn't get. Uh, I got my first one in college. Man, I was a parent when I finally buckled down. All right, give me the phone. I got my first, and it no. didn't even make calls. Like it was a local phone, Metro PCS, Ugh. and it was a local thing because I didn't need to call people from everywhere. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So it reached everywhere in the bay. That's all I needed. See, What's, we had a phone to call out, and then our phone in the house was cut off, and it could only receive calls. So uh, we would use this twenty-five dollar phone. Yep. Twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five for the month. Then. Well, it w- we they used to say for the month or until it gets cut off. Mm. So sometimes it lasts two, three yeah. months. <laughs> like, yeah. When I when I first got my cell phone, I was I was driving and I was super fronting. It was I was always pretending like I had a call. <laughs> and I had this little trash ass Nokia, like where you can play Snake on. Yes, <laughs> I like that phone. Uh, man. I remember being in high school, bro, walking in, walking in the halls, like, yeah. Oh, Lord, <laughs> when when all your friends you. are there, though, right? Like, <laughs> like who are you talking to, Chad? What's uh, crazy? Yeah, 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 but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, no, just on the cell phone and high. <laughs> school <laughs> <laughs> what's crazy is when fo- phones first dropped we wanted to be on them all the time right and now we're like on them just because we have to be like we said it's money or whatever well the whole world like this, this it wasn't this it was phone. just for making calls right playing snake that whole world changed yeah like it was like once the internet came here everything is here because right. even when a camera phone what it's still like it was a big deal but it was an awful picture like yeah. right. it was awful picture. and you still had to Whenever I wanted to, re- I had to get on the computer yeah. to get on the internet right. to do it. Right. So I really wasn't on my phone like that. Other than no, this I feel like this just happened. You know what I mean? Even mm-hmm. though it's yeah. been a while now, it just happened. Right. And the 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 impact that the cell phone has had in the last ten years is no one once, once they became smartphones. Yeah, who could have seen that? This right. Well, I, my first car had a cell phone. It didn't work, but it had one, <laughs> and I, it didn't work because back then calls would cost like two dollars a minute. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So people would call you on the phone, you just look at it and be like, I ain't answering that. Right, right. It's two dollars yeah, a minute. Yeah. Yeah. I Remember calling that. cards? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I was yeah, calling yeah, Card yeah. McGee in college. You yep. had to be, bro. Because I, I was at the dirty pay phone. Talk like. to the fam. <laughs> <laughs> With the dirty phone yeah, on the air shoulder. I stayed on that dirty phone by the, by the gas station. They're not I even out. Me. That's not even a thing anymore. I didn't even pay have phone? a phone at the, in Just, the apartment. I was like, I'll call you on the calling card. And what's crazy is I've had people ask me, like, who've been in a position like, yo, can I use your cell phone? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then you, at first you're like, ew, no. But oh, but we used to, yeah, public <laughs> phones, all that. But I get it because I was like, well, where you going to find a pay phone? Right. And I've been in the position where I went into a liquor store before and I was like, hey, look, this sounds crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not homeless. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lock my keys in my, my wallet, well, all that in a car. May I please yeah. use your cellular, or your cellular device? Yeah. <laughs> right? that, that sounds that's, like a great homeless, homeless speech. <laughs> that, it like, does. You, you got to say words like, please, I, I understand yeah. the circumstances. It depends on Chaz's ex- wardrobe for the day. If he had the brown money. Must be home. If he had the brown boots <laughs> on back in the day. <laughs> the Civil War joint. I'm like, like please uh, understand that. This I homeless understand. guy came in. Right. I'm always, hey, I've let, I've let a, a few boots. people use my phone, but I'm always hesitant. I'm like, well, where are you going? Who you got to call? Right. Let me dial it. And I'll be like, hello? It's so-and-so look. All right. I'll just be, no. Yeah, no. Nah. Because I've, 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 it has to be like it's gotta be a the situation right like that where yeah. like. It's like, uh, but then Tony will give a ride to a stranger on the street. I'd right? rather give you a ride than let you use my phone. <laughs> you pick up hitchhikers? Yeah. No. Yeah, you did. Well, she, she wasn't hitchhiking. We was in Vegas. <laughs> That's if, if oh, you don't know him and you give him a ride. I forgot about that. She was a uh, you know older black lady. I she forgot like, about that. She she, she was a lady of the night. No, no. An older black lady of the night. <laughs> no, but she was um. You I know. know these streets real well, baby. <laughs> and she was like, she was like, can I can can, can I please? You know, I need. I was like, all right. And I need, I just need to ride down the street, yeah. which was not down the street, by the way. <laughs> was not down the street. She said, I need to ride. And Tony was like, All right, come on. Yeah. And then we dropped her off far. It wasn't down the street. It, it wasn't was, too bad. It wasn't though, terrible. But it wasn't, it wasn't it was, down the street. It was far. And then she was like, Y'all the best niggas in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> she said that on the way out. Y'all the best niggas in Vegas. And, dipped out. and me and Tony could not stop. <laughs> the best niggas in Vegas. It sound, we talked about it on stage that <laughs> night. Like, Cause it sounded like an ad. You know what I mean? Like, you need a ride? Call the best <laughs> niggas in Vegas. <laughs> we all over billboards back in front of the back. Bellagio. The best niggas in Vegas. Back yeah, back, bro. <laughs> she I like, forgot about that. Yeah, because I'll, I'll never forget it. Because Tony was just like, because I was in the, I was in the passenger seat, 
And she ha- talk- talking to Tony, and I was just like, mm-hmm. you know, trying not to make eye. He was like, get in. She get in the back. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't sit behind see, me. You got to sit up. I need to see I see Keon yeah. being judgmental, but like, him being like the karma. But at the same time. The I'm calm, but I'm watching. Because I got a ride before right. from somebody, so no. I'm going to give a ride no. back. I, I've honestly, I'm real big on that because I honestly, anytime I've ever been in a jam where I'm just walking or stranded, somebody has picked me up yep, fast. every time. Fast. Mm-hmm. I get shout outs. Like, I'll be walking up La Brea <laughs> looking for a ride, and I'll just get beep, beep. Hey, what up, Craig? It's Craig, man. Mm-hmm. I'm like, doing nah, thing, I man. needed a ride. I need help. I'm going that way. <laughs> <laughs> Them people, people do be clutch, man. Especially man. at times that's, like, super inconvenient. We got stranded on the Bay Bridge uh, 3 in the morning. And this, and this girl came and picked us up. Yeah. And I was like, random stranger. She knew y'all or just random? She, no, she wasn't random. She, she knew me. Oh, okay. And because my... Bro, it was me, my brother, and my two homeboys. And he was like, it's 3 in the morning, bro. Mm-hmm. Who are we going to call? Like, we with the people that we hang out with. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? And I was like, let me see if this chick come pick us up. Man. Oh, yeah. She but came. you knew. You knew her. I've been yeah. getting picked but up I didn't by know her. Strangers. But I didn't know her well, though. Yeah. Not, not, it wasn't pick call up. Call you at 3 a.m.? Yeah, pick up. Like, it was just. <laughs> yeah. If you could just. At least you had the number. Uh, right. I yeah. got, I remember one time I was walking. I had just started. My car just broke down. I started walking. This girl just, it looked like you shouldn't be walking. I was like, you know what I missed though? Hey, I missed the little black book, bro. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I missed the black book with the numbers with the in the numbers there. In I there? missed that. That was clutch. It was so dope. With the scratch, scratch, scratch number, out, yeah. new yeah. number, scratch yeah. out, yeah. new yeah. numbers. It was so dope. And then to see that your book was filled, and then we used to compare how many girls was in the books. It was dope. Mm. I was like, yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that. I think I still got one of my black books somewhere. I don't it's like, Why uh, do they have to be blacks? Who said that? I don't know. And then we all just did a black it. book, man. Yeah. We actually handed them down. Like, all right. Because some of us, like, <laughs> threw parties still. So when you yeah. got in a relationship, it's like, here, mm. go ahead. I remember when Will <laughs> handed, like uh, uh, party. Will Queen handed Carlson to a dictionary. A dictionary. Classic, a chick-tion. Yeah. <laughs> I feel it. I have the power. The, power. <laughs> <laughs> the worst was when you wrote somebody's name, number down wrong. Oh, uh, yeah, it was a wrap. Because you thought you heard what they said. Yeah. You know what I mean? You wrote it down. They said, you never called me. I, you <laughs> never answered. I said Seven. You wrote down six. Mm. You're like, oh, hell. Now she got mm. a man. Like, when you really wanted that number, you <laughs> memorized right. it until you could write it down. And you'd be like, 818. Uh, uh. Or you write it, I, I would write it on my hand. We start, oh, we start getting lazy and just keeping the papers. Sometimes we go to Denny's after and with the papers, like, who'd you get? Uh, oh, you got that one too? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. That's funny. You write numbers on the back of receipts. Yeah. You write them on your hand. You mm. write them whatever. If you wanted it, like Tony said, you, you'll find a way. I would be like... Just write it right I've here. Seen, I've seen people now scratching in my ass. These punk ass kids today be like, let's exchange IGs. Look you up. I'm like, oh, y'all are weak. Yeah. They be doing They're something. scary. Sabrina They're be weak. doing that to people. Dudes be hollering at her on the street and she'll give them my IG. She'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, There you go. And then be mine. Oh, I'll be like, <laughs> like they're going to find you anyway. Yeah, they're they going to find you as well. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they be funny. running up on the street. Like, yeah, uh, he got a new comedy show coming out. <laughs> <laughs> well, people are going to run up. Like, that's just going to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But kids are scared. I was at the, I had the boys at the park, and these kids were – I think it was to play video games, though, mm-hmm. in fairness. But they they were like, well, this is my IG, mm-hmm. or this is my, and it's just like. But I could tell the the boy, she was like, you know, they're teens, mm-hmm. probably 10, 11. Mm-hmm. She was on some Let's Play video games. Mm-hmm. I think he, because he was like, what, 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 what's your IG? And she gave it to him, and she was about to walk away. He's like, wait, 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 what is it again? And like he was really trying to memorize it, and I was like, I know that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember that. That's yeah, what, let you and she go. was like, just find me. And she was kind of like, I got to go. Yeah. And he was like, wait, wait, what is it? And his friends were like, come on, man. He's like, no, 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 I want to get I was like, oh, he, he wanted to talk to her. <laughs> that Absolutely. scares me for the people with daughters where before you get to you get to filter that call out from the nervous kid right. calling for the first time for your mm-hmm. daughter. Hello. Now it just goes straight to the DM. Yes. Right. You yep. don't get that filter. You looking for who? Yeah, right. about, yeah, that filter was man. Hey, filter, the man. pressure when the because you get a hang up a woo. lot. You're like, hello, <laughs> yo, <laughs> not just the when parents. I'm gonna call a girl. She the dad, dad would answer. Oh. Hello, hello, my knees buckling. <laughs> hello, uh, Mr. McNeely. Uh, <laughs> get, 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 I just hang up. <laughs> you that boy pressure. Chaz? Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Hey, yes, man. sir. You would try. You were hoping the dad didn't call. I didn't mind the moms. 
I didn't mind sister. Like, I didn't want the brother. Cry, baby. I didn't hey. want no brothers and no dads. Oh, yeah. oh if you had your like, own line as a girl, I was like, oh, she a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> she got her own phone line. I have my own line. <laughs> <laughs> you the older. You you high with your own phone line. He's like, oh. I used to hate that when you be on the phone and then you you know you be just like yeah so you know same thing maybe hello hey, oh hey, yeah I'm on the phone ma no you ain't hang on I gotta yeah, go yeah, they just call. bust in on the call you got two minutes <laughs> hey so you know I gotta go <laughs> yeah you know my my so brother I could always hear him pick up trying to listen oh. I'll like, be like hold on oh yeah click He's, I'm like, get off the phone, man. Oh, I was Mr. Three Way Champ. Time. I call all my friends and we call one person <laughs> with everybody on three way. Remember, three-way you, was hit, clutch. you hit remember you could tell when somebody, because at first you didn't know, people would try to get you caught up or whatever. Right, right. When the phone rang back to back, somebody else was on there. That's how yeah. I figured it out. Like, because it, it used to ring regular. And then it would go, ring, ring. I'm like, who on the phone? <laughs> oh, nobody. Who is here? How do you feel about so and so? I know she on the phone. Who they start with that? That yeah. was a hookup. I know How she on the phone. I've been on the other end it? of the listen. Like, hey, see what she say. I'll be right, right here. <laughs> yeah. Get the full scoop. I mean, cool. We'll just tell him to call me. I was, I was king of the uh, the mute fake out. The mute fake but out. If I wanted to get off the phone, I'd be uh-huh. like, I would hit mute. Uh-huh. So it sounded like oh, somebody yeah, was yeah, trying yeah. to call. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. I think somebody called on the other line. I hit mute. Come back. Yeah, uh, my mom got a call. Right. Uh, like, I would just I yell. Was the king of that. I would yell. Huh? I'd be like, I'd be like, hold on, huh? I'd be like, um, my mom tripping. Ain't like, nobody I, in that background. Yeah, I'd be like, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> hold on one second. Yes. She like, I didn't hear anything. Yeah, uh-huh. she she was. It was a faint. She oh, was a faint. okay. I, I, gotta go. I went through a hang up phase. You just hanging yeah. up with people. You caught that one thing, what? This click. Oh, <laughs> Craig was a savage out here. Yeah, you didn't, y'all didn't play the hang up game. Caught this one thing? Yeah, what? This click. Hilarious. <laughs> hanging up the phone was fun, man. It was. Just the straight up hang ups. It's, it's a lost Sla- art. Slamming the phone was great. Yeah, man. Can't you do that no cow. more. The phone slam? <laughs> yeah, now you, you hear that press noise. Button. Cling. Yeah. You always had that noise. Or you hear fumble. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the fumble oh, on, damn, the, on, the cordless, on the cordless <laughs> joints. You. <laughs> Hey. But even on the cordless, you just had the button you could press. That wasn't as fun. Nah, like, nah you know, man. Hang the whole thing up. Nah, you used, to, you used to break somebody's damn eardrum mm. out. Oh, they come the next day, ear wrapped up. What happened? <laughs> Chance hung up on me. Man. That noise was so loud. <laughs> now the phone's just cut out. You still talking? Hello? Hey, hello? Hello? Sorry, they, they, you see them calling you back. Hey, cut out. Yeah, it's a lot of cowards hanging up now and blaming it on the drop. Nah, yeah, I, I, you I have to own it. Back in the day, I'd be doing that. Like, be doing that. <laughs> it was so loud. You'd be like, this shit right. got me hostage on the phone for at least an hour or something. I was just like, you know what? And she mm-hmm. kept trying to call back. I was like, yeah. Because she's going to call back and be like, you hung up on me? Uh, have I, you ever had to take your phone I off the ringer? I call you back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. People oh, just yeah. keep calling back. You're like, I'm not trying to talk to you. Yeah. yeah take your phone off the ringer for a while. It's just bad. Ah, good time. You on silent. I'm <laughs> turning the cell phone off. I'm, like, I'm turning it all the way off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to give you a couple good bars to make sure you keep calling. <laughs> you said a couple of good bars. <laughs> yeah. Like, but yeah, your breath didn't click. He <laughs> <laughs> was never worth a damn. Click, <laughs> click. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 click, click. Why they keep calling back? I don't know. They trip, man. Know. That's it's why wild, I, my man. mom got me online. She was like, all right, this is enough. Oh, no, we not. <laughs> click, click. We're not going to tie up my phone. I like wanted Especially that. tying up the phone line. Yeah, hey, I got calls coming in. Right. All you day. out here with the click, click. Especially if you was trash at giving messages, which me and my brothers were. <laughs> Mom, well, who called? Uh, what they say? Dude. Well, don't answer the phone again if you can't If you can't write it down or right. let, let let the machine pick it up. You and then I miss, I like, I miss yeah. the, the, the solid answer machine, like leaving the dope message. Oh, I used to do full <sighs> songs with my oh, answer yeah. machine. I was known for that on, on Absolutely. campus. It was great. Like, they would just call our room just to hear the song that I would make up. <laughs> it was based on whatever was hot at the time. Yeah. I would just make it into our message. You were better than me. I had some stranger that I bought the answering song. Remember that one was like a, hey, how you doing? And it was yeah. somebody so else just saying, get yeah, so, I, I ordered that. Yeah. I don't know the rest, you but I remember that. should have had me do it for you, Craig. Man, man. That's a, that was a big I, I need your phone the, uh, number, and I'll, I'll get back yeah. to you. That's what it was. But it was supposed to be De La Soul singing, but yeah. it was yeah. some stranger doing <laughs> it. Yeah. Sorry, I can't, I can't get, get through. through. Oh, my bad. Yeah. So leave your name and number. your number, and I'll get yeah. back to you. That's what it was. Hilarious. I don't remember that. Yep. Yeah, you I didn't remember that. Snow either. Yeah, I'm bringing another show on this show. <laughs> Snow, man. That's hilarious, though. The comments are so funny, bro. You, well, know, you, you changed the rule of the game, man. You can't you right. can't Season two now. is going to be game different. Change. I'm a real game changer, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he don't know De La Soul. I know De La Soul. You know that song? 
I don't I didn't I don't know the message you guys are talking about. I didn't hear that. But it's, it's based on their song. Yeah, I know yeah. the song. I, I know De La Soul. I know De La Soul very well. What's the hey, name of the song? I don't know. But I know De La Soul very hey, well. Hey, how you doing? That's what's right, right, right. <laughs> it's called Ring Ring. <laughs> oh, that's oh yeah. See, I knew that. It's on the second album, De La yeah, Soul is dead. The second album, Answer De La Soul. Yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> you beat me you know late De La Soul, not early. No, I know uh just me, myself, and I That's Daisy Age. I mean everybody know that. Whatever the age that was. When was that? Was that early day last That was the first. All right, then, Tony. <laughs> I was a goddamn child, okay? I gave you something. What else you want from me? What else you want I'm from me? I'm glad you at least know that. I be knowing songs. For, if they, When they come from our childhood, I know the songs, but not the artists. I feel that. Right. And I didn't. So even we were doing the All-Star team, I didn't know Simply Red was a white dude. Mm-hmm. I heard that song my Holy whole life. Maxine. Yeah. But I never knew. I'm not paying attention to who, you know what I'm saying? And then I just found that two weeks ago. Yeah, when man. we did the episode, and I was like, "What?" I can hear the whiteness though. I guess I just never. Yeah, but he's I'm, dope. I'm mad I didn't say Hall of Notes, but that's oh, also yeah. because Sarah Smile. I met them Here's through the MTV. I Sarah had Smile. Hall of Notes. I had, it was one of the ones I wrote down, uh-huh. and I was like, Sam Smith or Hall of Notes. Hall you should have went with Hall of Notes. Well, Sarah back Smile. You. But, really backed you on that. Well, yeah. here's the thing, though. But then I was like, Sam Smith, I was like, I thought I was full on radio. You was almost, you know you what? Almost you did. were almost there until Keon brought, brought out that. that. <laughs> and then, and then oh, I buddy. was like, because <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> Chaz, Chaz, uh, Chaz brought the baby by yesterday. Yeah, oh, okay. Young He's, Iz came by the crib. Came by, they was playing we with we the infested kids. the police crib. You okay. know, she was eating up all my nuggets. She did. Oh, for sure. What vegan like, nuggets? Right. No, you look no, like a vegan regular. nuggets dude. <laughs> no, just regular, you know, regular, regular. They were the dinosaur okay. nuggets. So oh. She was like, "Rawr, dinosaur!" Yeah, she plays this dinosaur game. Where yeah. She's like running around. You say dinosaur, and she go, "You go dinosaur." She's like, "Ah." Yeah, and she, she move just her arms like this. No, like, no. <laughs> no, she runs in terror. It's terrifying. Oh, I saw her, though, because I haven't seen her. I mean, I, they came up for Christmas Eve, but I actually like looked at her, and like the older she gets, the more black she looks. Like, she, when she was first born, I was like, oh, cool. And then now I'm like, oh, now I can see it. It's her hair, Isadora. Her hair is, <laughs> is different. Her hair, and I was like, ah, she's going to throw people off when she starts speaking Spanish. Right. So they're going to be like, hey, how, how, you, how, how you know that? How you know? Yeah, she's going to throw people she's off. She's like, I'm her. using Babel. Did you hear, did you hear her say, <laughs> mas? Uh, she was like, uh, something she was eating. Oh, those little straws you had? No, oh, yeah, yeah. She was like, mas, 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 mas. I'm picking it up. I'm using that Babel, I'm picking it up slowly. Yo, Babel doing, is the truth, I've been, I've been lazy on my lessons. Like I, w- I was doing it every day, and now it's like every other day, and mm-hmm. I got to get back to every day. But it's only 15 minutes, so sometimes I'll double up. Yeah, and do you know back to back? Cause like, and I'll I'll do a cheat one. Yeah, like I'll do a hard lesson, and then I'll be like, all right, we're doing numbers. So 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 today, me and Izzy went on a walk, right? So I know I know a little Spanish, right? So we'll do our ABCs in Spanish, and we'll do that. But if there's anything she points to, I gotta look at Babel and be like, right. uh, tree audible. Yeah, yeah, Papa yeah. knows, Papa knows. Right? You threw me off right there, like Trey. Uh, what's that? Yeah, so or she'll be like, "Huh, sky." I'm like, "Ah, oh, cielo, oh. cielo." Sky. Yeah, you gotta say the English yeah. So I got the me. Bible queued up the whole time. So anytime she points to something, I gotta know. And she points to the street. Ah, oh, kaya. You they know? got the translation on it. They got translation. They have, but it's like in full senses. Um, the thing that be getting me on Babel is like some of the lessons you have to like spell the words out. Like they'll mm-hmm. give you the Spanish word and want you to spell it. And I'm like, I barely can spell English words a lot of the time. I definitely can't do this, but it's good. It's good repetition. It's good doing. And like I said, I only do 15 minutes, 15 minutes a day. And it really is, it really is going well. I'm like, all right. And when I watch TV, I'll, I'll turn the subtitles off mm-hmm. and see what I can pick up. And I'm I like, know that word. I'm like, I'm getting, I'm getting some of this. You got to go in a restaurant and order very slowly. Yeah. You got to be like, hola. Well, what I noticed, too, is like (laughs) when you're with uh, people who speak Spanish, I used to feel like when you were speaking in somebody else's language, they would be like, you don't know what you're doing. But Mm -hmm. they actually appreciate you trying. 100%. So I'd be like, all right, I'll be messing up. I'd be like, And and they'll help you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, como se dice? uh." (laughs) As long as you keep that como se dice, it's locked and loaded. Como se dice? uh, (laughs) You're goodbye. (laughs) Fish. (laughs) But yeah, it's I, I love it. I absolutely love it, man. And uh, if you guys want to check it out, uh, you can get three months, three month Bible subscription. You get a three additional months free. That's dope. Sign up for three months, you get th- three months free. That's six months for the price of just three. You go to Babbel dot com. That's B A B B E L dot com. Use the promo code issues. Issues. And you get issues. an extra three months free, guys. How do you say Check issues in Spanish, Keon? Uh, I'm not there yet. Como se dice? Como se dice? Issues. I'm not there on my lessons yet. 
It sucks like if it's something real easy. Like <laughs> right. It's, it's, just, it's same. Way. Sometimes it'd be the same. It does. Oh. oh. <laughs> With an accent <laughs> over it. Yeah. Oh, good. All right, cool. We're done with that one. That was fun. What's up, sir? Come say DC locked and loaded. Yeah, locked and loaded. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bro, that's my go. Hold on. Come and say DC. Come and say and I peanut butter. Yeah. And I don't know why yeah, I do yeah. the ah after. Ah. I'll be like, come and say DC. Ah. I gotta pretend like, gotta pretend don't like do I don't words. know. Yeah. Because that's what they do in English. They'll be like, uh, how do you say uh? Right. But see, with Hall of Notes, they were like in the Michael Jackson early age where we yeah. met. The, where we, I was a little older, so I met them through video. Yeah. Yeah. Out of touch. Because some of the some of the other songs, this is what I was thinking. Some of the other songs, I could sing like, "Oh, that's a white person." Yeah, yeah. Facts. But Sarah Smiles alone, I Facts. thought they were black. Mm-hmm. I didn't know who that was, right. and that's how I saw their album cover one day, and I was like, <gasps> "I'm glad you know about them, though." Calling Oaks, yeah. oh, it's huge on that. I think I put your kids on them actually, because yeah, because we were. I had the best of Holland Oaks album, uh-huh. and then you started rocking that. Remember. And Serene was all in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Serene be liking stuff, though. He mm-hmm. be liking... Oh, I brought Serene to work. You did. Yeah, did you talk did. to him about it? Yeah, he was like, man, it was dope, man. Yeah, he was like, cool. I was slating for like 14 hours. Yeah. I was like, oh, they, did they, you have him do a dumb shit? They slayed. Nah, he, he pretty much just slated the whole okay. time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, he didn't clean up stuff, you know? You had him like clean up the bathrooms and all that, all that good PA stuff. Yeah, you see, know, they they did me wrong on my first job. I worked <laughs> on was it Major Pain? Yeah, they had me. Yeah, uh, Tony with his first job. No, he just don't remember his own life, man. What was my first job? So Tony? Da- Damon told them all to take it hard on me, mm-hmm. and they especially after that first day of them falling down the hill, <laughs> they had me locking up in a plantation by myself. I was seeing like ghost slaves <laughs> and stuff, mm. and then they forgot me out there because my walkie went off. For like two in the morning, someone came out like, "Oh my god, uh, yeah, uh, we we rapped." And I was like, "Oh, yo, when? <laughs> <laughs> they fool, they about to leave, they, they taking plates home." The, all the like, trucks were gone pretty much except this van. Did you tell your mom? I was a, an adult. I oh, got a check, still. but I, I still would have told my mom. Hey, you was an adult in ninety five. Well, eighteen. Crazy. I still would have told my mom. I didn't feel like there. I was an adult until. Shit. I had kids. <laughs> I was 27. I even that when I had kids, I was like, man, I'm an adult. I don't feel it. <laughs> Greg was like 18. I had bills. I'm a grown man. Yeah. Having was... kids takes getting used to. Yeah. Like when I first was a dad, I was like, damn, I'm a dad. Mm-hmm. Like, this is weird. Is like, and then when they when they're able to talk and they call you dad, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, oh, yeah, I gotta take care of you. Huh? I'm really out <laughs> here. He definitely, definitely is a reminder. What we got on the questions? Craig so. don't know his life, man. That's, that's I don't, man. It's been so long. We've you know, been, you directed episodes of My Wife and I Kids. Did do, did, I did. Do you know this? I did two mm-hmm. episodes okay. of Wife and Kids, I believe, okay. or three. He knows that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, you're an actor as well. I had a show called Second Generation Wayans, <laughs> yeah. I also, you were uh, also in a dance voice, flick? I was on a voice on uh, Thugaboo. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's here. A couple here. episodes. Okay. As a, a Thug animation. number one and Don't Be a Menace. Uh, yeah. Got shot first. Don't yeah. Be a Menace. Uh, yeah. I did a little something. He also self, you know. Uh, on Oprah. That was on Oprah. Yeah. I was myself. Yes. I was myself. <laughs> Jeff Crow's you were the show. antagonist in uh, Dance Flick, right? Flick, yes. Diary yeah. of a Cheating Man. What's that? Oh, 2015. Mm. They got you a self. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> was that Kanisha's oh, thing? Oh, no, no. That was, yeah, that was Caduceus' it's project. Kanisha's. I remember it was, it was Giovanni was on it. Somebody. It was Giovanni and someone else, and they was asking me questions about men that cheat. Oh. I don't yeah. know why they was asking me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it> was, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why. I remember Craig, I only watched Second Generation because I think by that time I met you guys. And I was like, yeah, my guy's got a show. I'm gonna. I watch. watched. I watched every episode. Me too. I watched every. I, episode. I, 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 I still haven't seen show. it, but I didn't have cable then, uh, so I need to go Because that, that premiered. I'm it was, about to start watching. It was bigger. that show. It was like two shows. It was back Kevin Hart show. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, and those two, yep. And I was like, yeah. Because I still never up. seen that either. Bigger is a fun have, ride. Wait, what's Kevin Hart show? Uh, uh, ho- ho- Hollywood. Uh, that show was funny. Yeah. It was. It was funny. And then uh, it was fun to watch them have fun. Yeah, it looked fun. To you make. said bigger is a fun ride. Bigger is a fun ride. I was supposed no. to watch bigger anyway because Chase is on it. Chase. And I was yes. like, I gotta support Chase. And then you know, I watched it because right uh, Chase and Angel it. are on there. Angel? Angel's on it too. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, I gotta watch it. I queued. It, I put it on my watch list last night. Angel like, Conway. Mm-hmm. Oh, Angel Conway. I was thinking the well, Angel. I was thinking Angel. Wait, who's Angel? Wait, who, you Angel Conway. Oh, Angel from Baby Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I shot something with Angel like in 2017. I don't know whatever happened to it. 
Angel's been working. But she stayed working. But she's yeah. been working. She's she's built her craft a whole lot. Mm-hmm. Angel been in the really game good. since she was a kid. You don't realize how much people be working until you go on their IMDb. IMDb. Like, there are some people be like, where they been? I look at them like, oh, they, oh, they, really they never stopped. They've been doing stuff. And there's a lot of people that like get openly clowned. And I'd be like, no, they've been working. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we people just were asking me about Damon up until just recently. And I was like, you know, he just had the number one show in the world, Lethal Weapon. Right. 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 Uh, y'all just don't watch it. Right. Exactly. That's right. the thing. Like, and if, I like if it don't show up on social media, right. people are like, yeah, you ain't Lethal Weapon was good. good. So that dude messed it up. He yeah. messed it up. He messed it up, Homie was crazy. He went buck wild. Was homie crazy? He almost I, killed David. I didn't know him, but uh, he was a big star in Australia. Yeah, I was saying, where did he even come from? You Australia. know, sometimes they uh, they give you a little bit more power than yeah, he went he off. was wild. You should have. Yeah. I was reading about that. I Man. was like, and Damon was like, I'm too old for this. Shit. <laughs> yeah, in <laughs> real life, Damon Man. would ignore Man. him. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> People see you're not gonna draw me in. He was anything. he was good though. Yeah. Yeah. I always thought he was a good piece, and I was like, I like their played, dynamic. And he played that, yeah. I'm too old for this shit character perfectly. It felt like my wife and kids with action. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I used to say. Yeah. The, the white dude was good, bro. Like, I liked them together, and yeah. he was a good actor. And he messed it up. It then they brought in right. Stifler. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't I didn't see. I didn't it see it when they it wasn't the same. I didn't see it. Yeah. Then he was just kind of loud and young and wild. It, was, mm. it wasn't the same, but he was Stifler. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what he was stifler. Yeah, well, he wasn't like I have something wrong with me, or I yeah. have a thing that's haunting me in the past. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, that's a big difference. I love the people, people just be hating on on credit. They were doing that tomorrow in a couple of years ago. It's like where he been? And no, th- and this was when like GI Joe had just dropped, and then yeah. he had just dro- like he had like three things out, and I was like, what are y'all talking about? Yeah, he yeah, he did nothing. I'm like, what? What do you, yeah. what do you mean? They they don't. If they don't watch it, they they forget it. And yeah, it's like, right. well, you know, he didn't do a comedy this year. This year he did three dramas. Right. And mm-hmm. You were looking for him on the comedy tip. He's doing other things. Ah, Marsh he fell busy. off. Right, right. right. And they just stand in the pocket. Like, no, no right. BS. I saw somebody say Kevin Hart's on the decline, and I was like. The fuck are How you talking you about? Like he has like eight movies lined up, and, and we like, were in and COVID. He's on, them Come commercials on, drop every hour, and I'm like, Come "What do you?" On, I man. see Kevin Hart still without social media. I still see Kevin Hart every yeah, He had the, the number one special in the world on Netflix, right. which is crazy. Like, what are you talking and about? him and Wesley Snipes have a movie coming out. Come so, on, man! I mean, it's project after project. And I think he just signed a seven movie deal with Netflix or something like that. And he yeah. has that with Ever Athletics, right? Yep. Just pops up on my phone. So much going on. And they really was like, they really was like, he's a nutritional. Uh, what's that? The like uh, he just signed the with the Nutribullet Nutri- or whatever. Yeah, he started Nutri- a, he something. started a vegan fast food place. Did he? Yeah, yeah he's, he's they're building. And he did a stand up special in his living room. In his right, living room. He right. Did. Which went number one. So he mm-hmm. yeah. I, when people I are, saw that, I nuts. honestly was like. People just be what saying are you stuff, talking man. Talking about, bro. <laughs> yeah, people are nuts, bro. I don't know what they base it on. Though, I don't like, either. What whatever's like, in their little world. I'm like, do you follow Kevin Hart? No, because if you don't, if you follow him, you know stuff is in the works. And but now, that's the thing, I, I follow Kevin, but I, you take social media away, I see him mm-hmm. everywhere. What are you talking about? Let alone his radio show. I mean, his whole radio station. Right. I'm serious. Yeah. I mean, he has Heartbeat Radio, Heartbeat Studios. I didn't, I didn't understand that comment at all. I don't know. And then I know <laughs> a lot of people decline. they base stuff on. They might have based it off his comedy specials though. Well, well, no, they've said his career is on the decline. Sometimes they, that, base but they may have based it off that. But Some I mean, just because of it, because they'd be like, "Man, the, the comedy specials ain't cracking no more," and then they just go. You, you guys can do a Wayne's no, radio station. Sometimes, sometimes they miss something, mm-hmm. and since they miss it, they just run with, yeah, like, or it no. just wasn't in their interest, and they're like, right. "Oh, he fell off." Maybe to you, right? And right. what you like about him, but right. he still. They do that with music artists too. a lot, where they're like, "So and so fell off," not knowing that in China or in Europe, they're selling, they're oh, yeah. living great. I heard Kelly I heard <laughs> Rasby. For Raz B killing over in China. I heard Kelly <laughs> Rowland was huge in Europe. I didn't. Even, I didn't know until I watched them unsungs. There'd be a lot of artists. I'd be like, I had no idea they were still doing so well. Mm-hmm. Like Deborah Cox is a beast, and like uh, that's because they fell off in a certain in aspect. A certain, yeah, they fell off in the United States. Right. I would so. say Raz B did so well in China that when he came back for the tour, he was like, "I'm not doing it. Mm. I'm not gonna do it." So he really is hot overseas. Yeah, I thought he's you was big being in China. Funny. <laughs> yeah, I did too. I, was like, <laughs> I thought he was joking. But yeah, you, you, David Hasselhoff stayed hot overseas. In, in right. Germany. He never fell off. I mean, it was the man in Germany. Man, you know. And worldwide money is good money. Me and Sabrina laugh about that all the I time. People know. we've oh. never heard of. A you rich. go to their page, 65 million followers. You'd be lying. Right, Russell Peters is a prime example of somebody oh. who's not huge here. But you go anywhere else in the world, he's, he's, because he got the whole 
Indian and Asian. Like he got all of them. That's huge. Cool. And like he with, was just boom. With David Hasselhoff, I didn't even know he did music. Right. Mm-hmm. And he's huge in music. Right. They had the concert. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hall, but, it, but in the U.S. he fell off. He was like, yeah. Man, he fell off, but over here, it's a whole, it's a whole other. If you were, if you were big on in one side. country, would you move there? Yep. It depends. It depends what <laughs> it I was doing on the, on, the, on the country. Yeah, and it depends on what I'm doing. Like I understand why Marbury stayed. In, like I get it. Like mm-hmm. it depends. He's I got a hoop here. Right. I got a. You know what I'm saying. So it depends on what I was doing. No, let's say you're not selling tickets, to the United States. Uh-huh. All right, not like you should be. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you you go over. You're bombing out here. Yeah. You go <laughs> over to like Iran. Okay. Iran. I don't know. I'm not moving out. Pick here. a place. But it's so crazy. You're hanging out with sheiks and shit. You got the same. You know. Yeah. You're in, you're you're damn near Iranian royal. I don't know why I picked Iran. You're damn near Iranian royal. <laughs> I gotta stay with the story. I gotta stay here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But yeah. like, no matter where you go. You, they treat you like a king, you know what I'm saying? But you come back to the states and no one knows you. Would Uh-oh. you stay in Iran? I don't think would I would, because because me people knowing me is not what I strive for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just doing what I love to do and making a good living at it. So if I come here and nobody recognizes me or they not, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm talking about this. money level though, also. But I'm making. Can I go get the money and then come back? You, you, yes, you can. Oh, can you then, go make no, the money and come back? Absolutely. No, but, so, so to answer your question, Iran is enough. Iran, but you're touring. But it, you're touring Iran like you tour the United States. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, how many weeks? I would, would go out there tour and then come yeah, back. Yeah, come back. But if it was a different country, then you know. All right, let's put it in France. Well, I've never been to France. I've never been. Let's put it well, to a place. Iran either. Let's leave it in Iran. Well, okay. Iran but never looks know. appealing, visually, though, yeah, visually in, in, in the visuals nice. they How do y'all, y'all see that? I don't, I don't know. I, yeah. Iran could be fantastic. Wait, I'm where, just going where, off. Where's Dubai in? Dubai, That's I've been in there. UAE. I've been to Dubai. United Emirates. Well, Dubai is a city, no? Dubai yeah. country? It's a country in Dubai's the a United city. Emirates. It's part of the UAE. I wouldn't live in Dubai, yeah. though. I wouldn't live in Dubai though. Everybody also, talks about how fly Dubai is. But also it's, within yeah, their flyness, it's a lot of stuff that's going on. <laughs> I've been there. It's like, <laughs> uh, it was like it's like a it's, it's Vegas uh-huh. in more of a desert. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, nah, this yeah. ain't for me. I yeah, barely would want to live in Vegas, but yeah. you know, so um, I, I could have lived in Vegas. I don't want to well, live in Vegas. Mm, Chaz, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm with you. You gonna see me with uh, CFCs, Craig Fried Chickens. You gonna see me with uh, seven seven twelves, uh, the CMCs. fake seven elevens. They all gonna be <laughs> run by Craig. What I'll, what I'll say is, I'm out too. I will stay there to do what I have to do in setup wise, and then I'm out. Nah, that ain't, that ain't what nah, you're I'm setting my about. whole I'm lineage up out there. Oh, there. No, I'm going to have move. my for kids owning radio stations, <laughs> gas stations. Yeah. Uh, let's see, how old are you now? So let's say you, t- you got to stay there for a solid 65. That's retirement. Oh, age. no. <laughs> I tell no, you, no. I tell you, 65. Y'all, no. gonna, yes, y'all are going to land in Craig Hell, Wayne's no. airport <laughs> of hey, Iran. I'm with you, Craig. You find just me Iran, though. Hell no. I'm just saying, I don't care. Think about my lineage. I said France later, pick a country. Now, France. France looks appealing. I've ne- uh, granted, I've never been to either one, guys. Yeah. Most countries I think I've been to, I've been to Canada. So what the fuck do I know? Well, I'm just my saying. thing is, if I'm over there doing so well, I'm going to own a lot of stuff. So I I'm going to make you. my own little Vegas. It's going to be that. called Craig Vegas. That's genius. <laughs> Craig what? Craig Vegas. <laughs> Craigus. 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 Uh, That's genius. But it, it depends on the country for me. I'm picky with where I live, man. I feel you, but you can always get air conditioning in your crib. Me well, no, it ain't the heat because, you know, the AC is on, on smash out in the desert. Right. right. At my age now, I'm in the house. As long as my bedroom is cracking, <laughs> but I, I really like to don't walk. care. I really go like walk, to walk. Go walk early. I can't walk in Dubai. You got to walk at oh, 4 a.m. What is that, what's that new machine called? It's like a treadmill with the screen where it <laughs> looks you like go. you're walking anywhere. Peloton you got no, man, shit. I yeah. want to be out go. in the community. I'm Googling walking. what to do in Iran. <laughs> <laughs> Iran. I'm Googling. It says 20 amazing things to do in there Iran. There you go. 20 amazing things. Sony, you can do everything every day. It's just a bunch of, I don't want to. That shit looks this. amazing. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure there's some nice spots out there. There you but, go. Yeah. And then uh, I, I don't know why I said Iran. It's the first kind of country. All these churches. But everywhere. Japan, sure. Turkey. Oh, Japan. I, 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 yeah. I, 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 Japan's nice. I can live in Japan. All right. I, I got mean, See, y'all naming all these though. soft spots. I'm he saying. was right with the Iran. Then go, where's mean, another it one? It ain't even about the violence. This is about the desert. You got to yeah. live in Libya. I'm not. I'm not I don't it's like for hot. you to build. No, this is all man. you. It's deserty. You got to live in Russia. It's too cold. Russia <laughs> looks cold as hell. It's too cold. 
But you gotta, you gotta, I'm from I gotta, California. I gotta dig like, in. But you got, but you can be worth hundreds of millions. You're not gonna get anything close to that in the states. <sighs> but in Russia, hundreds of millions of dollars. No matter Russia, what you I want. might be able to. Moscow, you, they built you a, a place. Oh, What's that big ass palace they have over there? Oh, that big. Uh, yeah, you got a place right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Yeah. Are you talking about this? You moved this bad boy? No, not that one. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. They're huge. That's a famous. Uh, yeah. I, I can't. I don't know what. Fifty it's things to do in Moscow. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's not not the Kremlin. Uh, I, I don't know what it's called. I want to say Taj Mahal, but that's not the same no, spot. That's a, it that's might a, be yeah. the Kremlin. Man, I'm o- I'm out there. I'm have my own ski resort. I'm not able to do Russia. You gotta go Mongolia. Isn't there a big singing star that moved to Russia for a while? To, uh, all them all them tennis players and gymnast and gymnasts come from there. They gotta be doing. It's gotta be something dope there. I mean, there's something dope everywhere. I'm sure. Let me look yeah. and see what large. Uh, I know an R and B star Kremlin. moved there. It's called the Kremlin. Kremlin. Look at Kremlin. 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 so cultured. No, nah, I don't want to get you no know, fun place like Brazil and shit. I feel that. Yeah. I feel oh, that. You got yeah. to make it interesting. Yeah, hey, you know. Of course you go. You can find a double spot in, yeah. in most continents. South Africa? No, you got to go stay in Chad. You anybody hear about shit about Chad? <laughs> Chad. No, you don't know shit about Chad. <laughs> Africa, I would do. I would do. Africa. It depends. South Africa, it's I do. Hot. I haven't it's been in other there, spots. Too. Madagascar, I've heard of. I wouldn't do around the Libya. Don't it would know have shit to about be it. the Sub Sahara or whatever, but. You know, I could do Africa. No, nah, man, you got to do like Djibouti, dog. That small ass country. <laughs> you got to do one of those. <laughs> what? That's too. a war zone, ain't it? Uh, they're all, isn't it all? I have, I nah, have no idea. Yeah, I'm, not, no, I'm not educated enough to tell you anything about <laughs> Africa. <laughs> I'm, I'm there. Just, I'm just going to say, hear him? Craig, they're going to be like, Chad, Man, they give me- you said, oh, they're I already like, said, I'm I, not educated enough. I'm already, I'm only well enough to know that, but this is why I say dumb shit. We don't have so uh, Disneyland, going. Iran, but it's just going to be all Craig, <laughs> Craig Land. Wayne's. You can have a little mouse that Don't be like a menace you. land. <laughs> That's funny. All the Wayne's. I forgot my credits land. <laughs> like, I did that. Oh yeah, you made right. your pain to ride. Come on, <laughs> made your pain to ride. that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You the could do ride. a whole. Oh, oh, you could oh. do a whole Wayne's Land now for sure. So mm. we was gonna do it in the Bay. Oh yeah, what time happened? Ago. I remember hearing about this. What happened? Give uh, us a scoop, you know, bro. Sometimes the deals don't uh, work out. You guys, I, yeah, it was like in Oakland. You guys found like a big ass like yeah. air. Uh, uh, well, Oakland had it. They were just looking for somebody to bring uh, something new to the city. Yeah. Mm. What happened though? Give us the details. Work give us the full scoop. I wasn't man. fully involved. Man, get your in uncles it. in here. On yeah, I'll get them issues, in here. On that, but Bring was, them in. Invite your uncles. Call man. all five. Uh, I can get one in here. Okay. That's just when. That's just yeah, when. Get them in next here. week. Let me see if they're in town next, next week. What's Somebody up, should be in town next week. Would love to have them. Even, even if it's yeah. D June, it's D June maybe. Hmm? Let me see who's in town. All of them, because all of them got kids. Y'all just be reproducing. And I wouldn't feel uncomfortable because I know them, so I'm like, all right, it wouldn't be like. Mr. Wayans. Uh, oh, if it's Damon Oh, if it's senior, Damon, I, I'm, I do I'm, it every time. I'm going to be sitting here silent the whole he, hour. He's on the road so. right now. <laughs> you, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I hate that I do that with him, too. I hate it. Cause he's, like, I'll be folding up, I told you, I bowed. I was like, uh, oh, it's he, Damon Wayans, He was man. like, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Last time I seen him was here. on Damon's show when they did the episode together. And he pulled up. He's like, what up? I was like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> you, nev- you never did a show with him? Yeah. And- I opened okay. for him in the Bay. Mm-hmm. And I opened for him uh, somewhere else. Yeah, we cool. I just be. I don't uh, think I'm getting out of it. I just because I just really, out of all of them, he was my favorite. Like I said, I watched Major Pain a thousand Blank, times. I, I, sometimes Blank I've man. seen Blank Man. Like, and I show, I was just. Always watching him all the time. I've been a right. rabid fan of him for too long for me to act like it's yeah. normal. Like a regular guy. No, uh, he's not a regular guy to me. I'm sorry. My favorite role is uh of his is when he played uh there's a T Bone and uh Colors. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Yeah. Humping that rabbit for no he reason. Was. Yeah. <laughs> he was so what, was he supposed to be on something? He was on PC. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, yeah. Yep. I'm tripping out. Cause he be tri- I was like, what is Colors. this? Colors, man. Wow. man Colors. Whip, man, that movie man. was a hit. It's the freestyle yeah, that made so I've seen me be colors, like, that's man. my favorite. You saw it? I've seen Colors. Oh, wow. What? Look at you, Chad. Don Cheeto. Yeah. yeah. Don Cheeto was uh, it. What's his name? Uh, Sean Penn. Sean Penn. Yeah, yeah, Robert yeah. Duvall. Robert Duvall. I'm talking about the old white dude. He died in the end. Yeah, he did. Sorry, spoiler. It happened in 92, right. guys. <laughs> no, that was <laughs> no, early. Early in that? 80s. Was it 80s? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I saw it in like, man, maybe five, ten years ago. The only thing I, that confused me about Colors was... Uh, it was black dudes in the Mexican gang. I was like, wait, what? Uh, that happened. Yeah, it happens. That happened. But it was, it just threw me off because the <laughs> LA I knew. And so I was like, well, yeah, it got, yeah. It, the tensions grew as time went on, but like, it definitely right. happened. His hair threw me off, but yeah, normally they just shaved their head, but he, he tried to slick it back. Then. Yeah, like, oh, come slick on, back. Bro. That was a, he was in mad stuff in the 80s, that he, dude. He was in uh, Hollywood Shuffle. Hollywood Shuffle, yep. He was in Die Hard. acting school. 
Yep. <laughs> he was the first Die Hard. He was one of the FBI, FBI agents. Yep. It was but, Robert Downey. But then in, and um, in Blood In or Blood Out, they had that, that white dude one. who yeah. uh, he, he was grew up with all the men. Right, yeah. right. And, but it was the that same. Was good movie. If you look yeah, at man. Godfather, um, when they had the white, they adopted that white dude. Yeah. And he uh, spoke yeah. Italian. Yeah. Um, you know. I guess this is where, yeah, yeah, Who was also played by Robert Duvall was an Italian. He was the. What's his name? Tom. 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 Because they. I like Sonny found him on the street and then they just raised him. Yeah. Raising one of his sons. Tom. But he couldn't be in the family because he couldn't be in the family. Yeah. Yeah. Which he might change own. now, they said. It might change now that there's a yeah, black I saw, cardinal. I, I saw that. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, well. There's a black cardinal? I didn't know that until This is the first now. one? I believe it's the first one. What? That's crazy. That's been thousands of years. We just got one in there. All them black cardinals on the St. Louis card- <laughs> <Autumn> Cardinals. All them cardinals, man. Black don't play baseball no more. It's crazy. <laughs> they don't. They stopped. Once Griffey That's and Bonds kind of faded out, they All like, the baseball players' dads was like, you got to see. You got to see. And that was it. <laughs> you got to see, that man. You're done. Well, no. What really happened was, you know, growing That's up, Little League, Little League was big oh, for yeah, kids. Yeah. And then when they started not taking care of the field and stuff, it was just – and basketball's – Baseball is a sport that requires you need somewhere to play. You need more equipment. Mm-hmm. Where a basketball, you just pick up a ball and you go. And that's why so many kids, especially if you're poor, can gravitate yeah. to that because you just I, I can just do this you anywhere. You can play that in the alley. But with I yeah. create. Well, we used to, we used to play baseball with with maybe we find a rock and a stick and we play. But yeah, yeah, but that's not you're not picking up. No, but uh, and also we used set. to just play something with our hands. I mean, handball. Not handball. I just mean like yeah, yeah, yeah. It just was thing. But we've yeah. <laughs> I think I feel like the Catch. popularity of basketball is what ruined baseball. That too. Because base, that basketball, too, like Jordan came, mm-hmm. and it was a phenomenon. Everybody wanted to be like Mike. That was a, a thing, you know. Because mm-hmm. even with Griffey and and Barry Sanders and all these other players, like I don't think anything sports skyrockets. I mean, we can see it globally. Jordan no changed sport the whole culture. Skyrocketed sports, like period. like yeah, like basketball did. You know. Well, not so much Jordan. It was part Jordan and part the Dream Team going over there. Yeah. Once like, the Dream Team went over there, that's when, like, you can... Oh, you mean globally? Why you yeah, mean yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was like, <laughs> it, it was also one <laughs> yeah. of the first people to get... Uh, he was one of the first people to get global marketing the right. way he yeah. did with and Nike, so when they went, Gatorade. And that's why he they wasn't going to do the Dream Team without him. Mm. And then they, you know, and it just... Like, I remember, remember foreign teams back then, they would just beat yeah. the shit out of Oh, yeah. Of right, right. And then now, it's like... Hey, foreign man, teams are bowling, play. yeah. But it was a big thing because we used to play baseball. That was my favorite sport growing up, and Mine everybody too. just stopped playing. Mine too. And then, and then you had like <laughs> the Sandlot, you had the Angels in the Outfield, and you had right. all these baseball movies, and then it was never that anymore. It was all about basketball. Movies and movies for impact because for for a split second, black kids was like, "I'm gonna play roller hockey." Oh, we were, Mighty Ducks. When we saw <laughs> Keenan come out and Mighty Ducks <laughs> for a split second, we was out there. <laughs> Couldn't and escape for sure. It, it, was, it, it was First Blood for me. With uh, You remember that hockey movie, First Blood? No. Uh, I never heard of that. Oh, I thought you meant the Sylvester Stallone. No, I was like, there wasn't no sports in there. No, it was when uh, he uh, took the shirt over the hockey player and beat him up. Let me think of the name. <laughs> that is a hockey <laughs> thing. That, that made me thing. be like, oh, you can take someone's shirt over and beat him up. Yeah, <laughs> hockey, you can fight tough. Yeah, Yo, hockey yeah. lets you square up. Wilton Gregory was the first black cardinal. That okay. was his name. Wilton Gregory. Yes. Wait, so he just now started? Like he's had his first day? That was the first black card now? This year. What? Yes. I'm trying to think of the first African American. That's crazy. I'm sure there's been baseball movies. Oh, there's always some. I was trying I'm, to like think Ricky Ball, of the Year. Last hit. Money Ball is the last one I thought about. I thought it Money Ball. But that wasn't even like a kid's movie. No, like, it wasn't. like Ricky of the Year. Like all those were in the 90s. I love those movies. Those Rookie of the Year was great. That's Major League. Oh, Sam Lott. Major League. Yeah. Sam Lott. Angels in the Outfield. There was, they yeah, were there all was 90s of movies, movies. Baseball, baseball was huge. And then it just... And then they took the roids away. That's then, what happened. No, nah, then Space Jam came out and it switched it Space up. Space Jam, I mean, man, you could it was like Mike. You could, yeah, you couldn't stop there. the Jordan effect, bro. Air up there. No, that was that was before Space yeah. Jam. I loved Air up there, by the way. I remember that. I saw it I in the theater. That With the Kevin dog Bacon. was Dunkin'. I don't even know. I just know that... The dog. Oh, that's Air Bud. Oh, Air Bud, my bad. Air up there is Kevin Bacon went... Bacon went to Africa. They went to go get Duncan back before they were recruiting like that. And then he went to see them and he was like, he can play over here. The Manu Bowl story. Yeah, pretty much. Coach Carter. Coach Carter, yeah. I hated that. Him. was later. Uh, what else? On the Hoosiers. 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 You got to give it to Hoosiers. Oh, you got, and of course, it was Shaq and Penny. They right. had blue uh, chips. Blue, blue chips. chips. Yeah. Oh, then you have to give Marlon, uh, Marlon six Tupac. Six man. Man. Oh, oh, six above, above the rim. Above the rim. Uh, and he got game. He, he got, got game. game. He got he game. He got game. Yep. Love that movie. They be hit and miss as far as box office results, though. Yeah. Coach Carter was actually one of the most... Highest grossing Had basketball. Samuel, movie. Samuel mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Uh, and then I think the only football movie to go over 100 was uh, Remember the Titans. 
That movie's great. What's what about, what about like Fox? a Sandler movie? What's the one with Jamie Foxx? Any Fox? Given Sunday. Any, any Sunday. Given Sunday. That didn't go over 100. Ooh. What about no Sandler movie? It probably movie did, did worldwide, though. Huh? It got close. Waterboy but... didn't? Waterboy, Waterboy yeah, definitely Waterboy. did. Yeah. Waterboy that's the football movie. Yeah, that is a that good that's football movie. Yeah. That might be the highest grossing football movie, right? It's got to count Waterboy. The Longest Yard did good, too. Friday Night Lights. Friday Night Lights did well, but it didn't do over 100. But it did good, though. I felt so bad for Booby, man. Booby Miles, man. I felt so bad for Booby. Derek Luke. I watched Antoine Fisher again yesterday. Hurt Locker. What? What's that? Isn't a war movie? No, what's the one with the football player, the big football player that oh, uh, no, the, you're white, about, the uh, white lady adopted? Blindside. Uh, Blindside. Oh, that, that did, did good. I was off. Number. Man. I can tell you the movie. I don't that know did over two hundred. Hurt Locker. I'm like, what's that? Yeah, that was a. Uh, He's like, that's in a war. Iran. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the blind right. side. Blind side. I yeah. want to do a sports movie. I just want to be. I in would it. love to do. I always want to. There's no. I want to throw a ball and look at the camera like you can tell. Please. <laughs> <laughs> then you go back into my. They're like cut. cut. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, like, I'm just. You, I just want to show people I really played there, something. There's two sports that we did. I never got to see a movie about really like wrestling and like just powerlifting. Oh, the wrestling. Wrestling. Well, that, that, that was that was w, that was the yeah. wrestling. Not no, like, Hulk Hogan and uh, that was no like whole Zeus. Bar. No, no, you guys are talking about like WWE. Smell. Wrestling. I'm talking about like collegiate. Oh, <laughs> Fox catcher. Box catcher. Fox catcher. I don't you got to watch that with uh, the kids. Oh, man. Channing Tatum and Mark Ruffalo. I never heard of it. It's, a, it's, a, it's it. based on a true story about uh, DuPont. DuPont? Yeah. Okay. He was like, uh, the and, uh, Fox. Uh, the Fox catcher. Yeah. Wait, which sport, are, which yes. sport are we on? Wrestling. wrestling. Oh, well, that one movie just dropped about the, the female wrestler that became like a WWE uh, diva with, and The Rock's in it. That oh, was a few so years ago. Fighting with my family, but, but that sounds like, like that. WWE. He, he's not talking about that. I'm talking about like, like actual the wrestling. I was like talking Olympic about Olympic wrestling. Yeah, that's okay. Fox mm-hmm. Catcher. You should watch. Okay, that. I will. It's that based on a true story. Who's the actor in that? It was Mark Ruffalo, Steve Carell. Steve, Steve Carell. Carell. They both got nominated for Oscars for that movie too. I, I always want to do this. Story. There was this dude. His name I can't remember his last name. Dan something. But he was like known as like one of the greatest wrestlers in the states. And he had like went under uh, Iowa was huge uh-huh. for wrestling. They still are. Yeah. And so this dude, he, I think he was like undefeated all in high school, and then he went to college, and he lost his very last match in, uh, in high school to become like the champion. And then he just stopped. Mm. <laughs> like he didn't go into the Olympics. You know what I mean? He just kind of stopped wrestling. I always wanted to do a story about him. But he started coaching uh, Iowa, I think, like, like, like later on he got it back together. But I always thought it was just, I was like, yo, how big was that defeat to him that he was just like. It's got to be tough, man. Uh, I think about that a lot. Oh, it's real. You, you only remember the loss, bro. Like he won other champions. Individual but. sports where you train and train and train and train and train, and then uh, you lose. Yeah, and then that one dude, uh, everybody posted at the Olympics who took him for sixteen years. Yeah, yeah. I always thought like he's a powerlifter, but powerlifter, yeah, no one never that. talks about it. But it's like it's crazy. He That's finally did it though. Things. Yeah, he finally, he finally did it. Did it. Took him sixteen years. And look how long it takes. Like you know, if we have a bad set one night, right. we, we got another show right. either the same night or the next right. night. But the Olympics, you got years. Four years. years. And then and there was that one he pulled. He didn't even get it up, and his hand came off. Yeah, I was like, man, I might have shot myself. Man, <laughs> it's weird though how they choose people to be. Certain people get chose to be famous. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, there's the high, the college kid that scored 130 points in a game more than once, wow. and no, he scored 109 and 130. Damn, nobody even thought about drafting him. Well, he shot a lot. <laughs> he shot a lot of times. <laughs> Like a lot but of still, time. to score that much I mean, in the game, yeah. somebody got to pick you up. At least, at least give you a look. Yeah, I Man. saw it. I saw it. Well, he's a short white guy. Yeah. yeah. They, he, but it's like sometimes he scored 130. Come on, hun. 130. Yeah. They got to give him at least a shot. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if you, even if you get 30, come on. That sounds crazy. What? What? Uh... Nobody else shot but him, pretty much. Pretty uh, much. That's yeah. it. Which and that's what people look at, like even when when Lamelo scored ninety two. When you watch the game, that he scored ninety two. That ninety two wasn't. He was cherry picking half the time. He wasn't really. But playing. even but even if I Chaz ninety two is the same shot a, a, th- a thousand times, I'm never ever gonna score. No, because you're gonna get tired. That's what people try to do when, when Kobe dropped the sixty when, on his way out. They was like, well, he shot fifty something times, sixty whatever. Like, but they was like, to get up that many shots though, you still have to be in shape. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To I feel do like Kobe. So. I feel like Kobe wasn't done. Kobe, I feel like Kobe still had more he in the tank. He did. <laughs> he, he was done. As I feel a, like as he had a, more as in the a tank. great not to be him. Yeah. He could have been fifteen point. 20. He said but, he, yeah. he never wanted to do. That. Yeah, they. All, I mean, a lot of them still have stuff in the tank. Mm-hmm. Like, but it's just like, like I was here. Right. Well, I can't play here. No now. disrespect. Like, he didn't want to go out like Sabonis or right. go out like. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
like Carmelo. Even and if you Carmelo's listen to them, good, he he killing out, yeah, yeah. He, but he was right. like, one of the top scorers in the league. Right, like, yeah. It's kind of hard to be like, all right, you take the last like I- shot. Iverson couldn't take it. He couldn't take no, not he couldn't. being. I just the hate guy. seeing players get well, him shuffled coming off the bench behind Stucky. I couldn't yeah. take that either. Yeah. <laughs> I hate the shuffle around. Yeah, they on this team yeah. now, and then they over here, and then they over here, and then they coming off the bench. It's just like, like Shaq ah. was doing that. Shaq bounced like six different Shaq, teams. Shaq, he should have retired way before he did. Yeah, hey, I know it's crazy. Like, they do it so much that American Express now, it sounds like commercial, but now they'll replace the jersey if right, your player right. switches teams. Right. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. That's right? one thing I love about Kobe's legacy, one team. Well, he tried to leave though. Remember, he and tried. Made, to leave. He asked for a trade. But but Dirk. that, that but that, I hate when people put that on people. Like, well, if somebody says they want out and the organization does what they're supposed to do, mm-hmm. then the organization did what they're supposed to. do. There's a lot of players that want to stay and be yeah. like, I need this. Right, right, right. And the organization doesn't do it. Why well, I'm out? And then, I get and then it the from fans get mad at the players. Well, Kobe technically like, started on another team and got the paperwork the transferred over. Well, you, but nobody. But he, yeah. That's the but he did. But people always say that. Like he, the only person that I know. That we watched that really never had any intention of going anywhere was Duncan, or yeah. Dirk, I and mean, Dirk, yeah, Dirk. But Robinson Kobe wanted. Too. Kobe was allowed about. I want the hell out of here. Mm-hmm. And they was like, okay, here's Paul Gasol and some stuff. He's like, and, okay. and they, they right. didn't. Wait, they David, David, David Robinson never went nowhere. Wanting huh? to leave, David Robinson no, never went but nowhere. But just the fact that they never did, I like that. Yeah. D Wade also, I thought he was going to be Miami forever, and they couldn't agree to this money. Right, and then he was like, he came to Chicago. He did. And he came back here. Really, it wasn't that great. I'm saying it was pretty. Man, look out, man. It could have happened anyway. I'm just glad he went. But you know, I'm always rooting for Derrick Rose. No matter where he go, he's doing oh, well yeah. too. He went back to the Knicks with yeah, uh, I was upset about that because he was doing, doing good well. with the Pistons, and now we have nothing. Yeah, Blake out, asking man. for a trade. That's because like, y'all oh. attitude stinks. Man. What are you talking about, bro? Look out, man. What are you talking hey, about? Hey, man, what, what's the time at? <laughs> man? <laughs> oh, man, let's get the hell out of here. Five man. minutes. Wait, on how the long have we been on the show? Woo, oh, oh, man, Chad be making Chaz it long. Is back, what man. did I do? You asked the Iran question. Wait a yeah. second. Wait a second. <laughs> you guys went long last week. I was not there. Yeah, you're still That's because was we here. had a guest. I'm just saying, I wasn't. I had nothing to do with it. And this time, I think I talked the least. No. Today. It's been pretty what? even today. I mean, yeah, I don't, I I don't like know. I'm just trying to find Greg was stuff. chiming in today. There you go. Today. So, so really, just... we need DC gone for Craig to talk. Craig is a rarity. That's what I just heard. Craig always trying to be Michael from Boys to Men. <laughs> you say you don't Barely talk enough. coming in, you know you what I'm saying? It. Nah, man, you I gonna just be, didn't care. You gonna be wine yet? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I don't. I don't think I'm to blame for the long episodes, but I'm glad the people got what they wanted. And look out, I'm a champion. Y'all get Somebody greedy. asked me like, "Have you talked to your dad about any of the stuff he brought on the podcast?" I'm like, "No." Mm. I'm gonna ask him about a murder he saw. And I, hey, Dad, how's that trauma going? Like, I, like no. <laughs> well, I, I would have been like, Yo, that really happened. Like, and then, uh, you know. Yeah, I wake up screaming every night, son. <laughs> All right. Remember when I used to have the six, nightmares? Six, that was uh, it. Good night. <laughs> All right. I'm Anytime like, no. he see a, he a dice roll of yeah, Monopoly, he jumps. Like, oh, oh, y'all from? playing Monopoly? Oh, back to a little joke. <laughs> oh man, Jesus. I bet you there is something that's crazy. That's wild, man. Anyway, y'all, uh, anything y'all need to plug before we get out of here? Mm. Bigger on BT. Bigger on BT. Yo, I'm about to watch. I'm about to watch. Millennial shut down uh, the All Black Network because it got such a huge debut. Uh-huh. People couldn't handle the streams in there. So That's watch. Right. So watch Millennials. Uh, the next episode. It's being uh, advertised Thursday. everywhere. Like heavy. It's, it's a, yo, I remember like Jordan. Uh, Michael B. Jordan reposted it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Justin Bieber reposted it, which was random. Yeah, they're pushing it like, hard. Yeah, man. Bieber messed with black comedy though. Hey, yeah. he stay at Chocolate Sunday. Well, well, you know, he messed black, with black culture. Right, right black people built yeah, him yeah. his whole career. Usher found and He him, always gives the respect. Well, he make, he makes sure he says it. He does, and yeah. I like that. I respect that. I about like Justin. that people don't. If you go, you know who built your career or where you got it from. Yeah, he's give a shout one of the first people that stepped up for Black Lives Matter and was yeah. like, Nah, yeah. I get everything that I do from them. So I think that's a lot of people's beef. Mm-hmm. It's like if you gonna bite off us, whatever you can't you just be. Show that dis- love. Yeah, you don't come hide back. out in the back when it's happening. Right, like so. Episode two shows on Thursday of uh, Millennials. So please watch. Will it be able to support us this time? Hey man, streams? I hope not. I hope they. Sh- I hope you guys shut, shut it, it down shut it again. Down again. Uh, I hope so. It looks. It looks good. I don't know. It's so dumb. It's so. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the silliest shit you've seen. We did a sitcom where we could literally say anything, and we did. Congrats, Chad. Hey, uh, thank you, man. Thank hey, you, man. man. So y'all tune in to Millennials. Uh, Kia. Oh, I will be at Laughs Unlimited. This is far away, but I'll tell you now. I'll be at Laughs Unlimited at the end of April. Uh, April 30th and March 1st. Uh, Wait, what? Yeah, because you know the month is over. April, May? 
So yeah, what did I say? March? Mm-hmm. Yeah, May. March. May first. April thirtieth, May first. I will be at Laughs Unlimited that Friday and Saturday. Yeah. So you can get your tickets now. Get them now. I'll be saying it, you know, for a while. Yeah, yeah man. Sacramento. Sacramento. Yeah. California. Last on What you got, Bake? Uh, Tony Baker and Friends, March 12th. Tickets on sale right now. Available on Amazon and Gumroad. Uh, oh, the Tony Baker and Friends special is go. always available on Gumroad and Amazon Prime. Kansas All Stars. Next episode? Every Tuesday. Every, Every Tuesday. Tuesday. Every, I think we have three left for this season. Yeah. He's gonna, doing point, this one? he's gonna point at me for something. I was gonna do bigger, but I think yeah. you said bigger. No. Also, y'all, I'll be in Miami uh, partying on the twelfth. <laughs> <laughs> Catch Craig party in Miami. Yeah, COVID, you know what I'm saying? Uh, verbal cardio will be coming back uh, hey. soon. Oh, the return. So stay tuned for that. Uh, it'll just be me and water and some guests on occasion. So uh, yeah, man. I'm listening to y'all. Y'all been asking for it for a long time. So and uh, but get them Tony Bacon friends tickets, man. Fifteen dollars. Get your get your money together. Got a great lineup. Black Ron. Vladimir Kamano, uh, Chloe man. Hilliard, Yasser Lester, Mimi yes, Simpson, sir. Yes, sir. and Nick Carthan. So and it's going to be a dope show. Nick Pull and up. Mimi. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nick and Mimi. And, uh, Are they both on there? Yeah. We just was like, let's hear we we skipped over those names. That's oh, I'm my like, bad. <laughs> I was, you know, people say people, you know, you're yeah, like, yeah, like, like that. That. I said it with you. I was like, yeah, let's hear yeah. I was like, oh, we forgot me. Yes, and Nick. Man, yes are everywhere, man. Yes, yes are killer, man. He's, He's on Black killing. Kids recently, too. He got that pin y'all. game going. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Strong. Um, I saw his name on something I was watching. I was like, yo, yes, sir. Anyway, um, so March 12th, you can get your tickets now. Try to get your tickets early. So I don't think that the show is a bomb until the final day. Uh, you know, y'all do it every time. I guess and they're gonna and they're gonna do it again. They're gonna continue to do it, but y'all be stressing me out. So uh, shout out to the early purchasers, um, and ask us questions in the YouTube comments section. Put question big and bright, uh, and we'll tackle them on the show. We we'll have some questions here for the day, but you know, we, yeah. we had a and good. Somebody thing going. specifically asked me one mm-hmm. in my IG that they 